Who is? I swear I saw some, a clip the other day of someone pretending to be crazy in court or mm. something in America. Eddie, bro. That was a word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was <laughs> I was looking at you, bro. And, and, and the, oh, the, 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 judge was, the judge was like, yeah. can you tell your clients to allow it? Yeah, relax. Like, 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 you're still yeah. getting the sentence, bro. Allow me. You know bro. what it is? It? If you do it from the get-go, cool, fair <laughs> enough. The then brother, you got a chance. Brother. You can't do it halfway through but your they're, like, bro, they're looking at this man like, what mental <laughs> illness are you imitating? But no, but, te- no, but te- technically speaking, though, it could happen, though. If, I, you, if you were to go to jail and it hits the fan, and one day you're sitting in your cell, and then your lawyer, like, because obviously your lawyer will speak to you in it, and your lawyer will say, like, how's the case looking? It's not looking good, you know. Mm. Uh, what, 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 like, roughly, what are we looking like? Like, what, four years, five years? Four years, five <laughs> years. You might say 400. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking at, I mean, the maximum, I mean, the prosecution pushed for the maximum, which is 140 years. But the minimum is 80. Mm. You're Jesus. going mad on the spot, bro. Man. On the spot, man. On the spot, man. Bro, you're Is it recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, bless nah, nah, bless nah. Oh, oh, yeah, we just cut it out. <laughs>
Oh, I thought that was you. Yeah, I thought that was me, bro. I thought that was me. Like, hey, that's cold still. That's, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> needed. That's just still. Sent me a... I definitely thought that was you. I think you're wrong. Keith, man. That, that brother telling you stories. That's, that's, hard. that's hard still. But no, no, my, my reading weren't great. My reading weren't great. And obviously, it just got better as, as I was in the can. All I had time to do was think and <laughs> You didn't read. have nothing else to do. Yeah. What was, what, what, was, what was your favorite book to read in jail? I didn't have a favorite book. I just read whatever. Mice and Men. Who? Your dog. Wow, that's that's, what's that, like yeah, a, that book is crazy. What's that for like a five year old or something? Nah, no. No. That's, a big, that's a big book. If you did GCNCs, I said Of Mice and Men. That's, that's a big book. No, I remember reading the book from, was it Maya? That, that big Maya Angelou. Yeah, I remember reading one of her books. You're a liar. You are. How do I know her name? Do you know why? How do I know her name? Do you know why you? Do you know why you've said that? Because you've just seen on Instagram and seen you the popular what? author. What? So in your head, it's just come through. That, that is one of the. He only knows the first you were, books. You weren't read, you were reading my Angel, my that Angelou in jail, bro. That is one of the first books I read. What year was it? What year was that? We're talking about. Let's hear this. We're talking about. Let's hear this. Let's hear this. We're talking about two thousand and one, two thousand and two. Fuck off. What? That's when I went to. That's when I went to Canberra. My Angelou in two thousand and one. The ja Rule days. Brother, I went to the camp. She was right back then. I'm not saying she wasn't, but this nigga was, he didn't know about her. Bro. Wait. I didn't know, no, no, I didn't know about her. I was just reading he, the book. He only knows of her because you know, you know she used to be a lady of the night. Yes, yes. I didn't know about her when I was reading the book. Why you say yes, just like because, you No, because obviously. Once it, yes. No, because yes. when you're reading the book, she talks about her life or X, Y, Z. But my point is this. I didn't know about her when I was reading the book. I didn't oh, know. Oh, so she used to still front. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. Oh, you thought I was just saying that. No, I didn't know if you were joking, but I didn't, it didn't register. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. I like what I know about her now is obviously she wrote books and whatever, bloody. But when I was reading at the time, I didn't know about her. So she was a city girl from back day. Yeah, she got a PhD looking for a PhD. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I don't think the, the, the camera's not moving for me, you know that. Yeah, well, I think Brent does sign. Oh, okay, cool. It doesn't matter. But yeah, man, I, I learned to, you know, dyslexic and all that. It doesn't matter, man. It doesn't. Listen, man, no one can get you down when you're dyslexic. Here's where it is, man. We learn differently. So, of my a big book. Another book yeah. is To Kill a Mockingbird. That's another big book. Yeah, that's that's from The Hunger Games, isn't it? What's the one? Other one. <laughs> is that not from um, The Hunger Games? Beware of the Spook. Or What's <laughs> that, that one? Beware of the Spook next door with some black pamphlet. Hold on, is that not from The Hunger Games? You, you, have you seen <laughs> Hunger Games? I don't want that shit, but have I, you seen you see Hunger Games? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know you've seen the Hunger Games. Why are you messing around for? So to kill a mockingbird. That's from the Hunger Games. That is bro. set in Bro, I'm saying the book came out before the films in Some racist rock. America, so I'm like Okay, it's, no, it's Hunger maybe, Games. I'm I'm just saying that. I'm sure they got a version of that though, man. To kill a mockingbird. Or something about mockingbird. There's a bird that's in Hunger Games. <laughs> that's called Mockingbird. That is the symbol. <laughs> that's the only correlation, bro. I don't know, man. I thought I thought that book was from. You see, Rich. When I talk Did to Rich, you... I can just catch Rich out. So he... I don't know com- why you're trying we have to catch conversations me out, though, bro. I'm talking to Rich, and I'm like, "What are you saying?" It's like he doesn't know what he's doing, bro. Like it's like he just walks straight into it all the man's, time, bro. Man's just freestyling. Hey, isn't pause. It? That is a pause, isn't it? What? what? What did you say? Walking, Walking into straight a? into it all the time. Oh, if you were inside, that would be a pause. They might be on you. What's the what's uh, facts only? only facts only, only would be on to you if you were inside right now, bro. Who the hell is facts only? Facts only. Me personally, China and kid. Chinks, man. Yeah, chinks. Sorry, China. You know, chinks and kid. Yeah. See, look. That's how I know. You see, you seen kid. That's how I know. I'm not. I'm not reading his name properly. Shout out to them, man. Anyway, but um, yeah. Be on you if you're in the south, bro. Yeah, oh, my cement is a sick book. That is possible. Have you seen the film? <laughs> nah, yeah. it's, it's got this yeah. is a film, yeah. Yeah, I used to watch it in college, um, school all the time. There's a sick book you used to read called mm. Brokeback Mountain. You've seen that book. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna drink while I drink. <laughs> I will never, Yo. I will never read that book or watch the film. Have There's no the reason film? for me to do it. Have I seen the film? Was yeah, that have a question? Seen the film? Well, have you watched it? <laughs> what? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll give you context, yeah? So I remember when it first came out, I was with my mum and dad in the li- li- living room. I think it was on ITV3. ITV they were flicking through and yeah. the thing came out. I said, it's this disgusting thing they're doing. Because it was the scene before they were about to, like, have flat sex. cheeks in it. So... Uh, but see, All of a sudden, I just switched it. My mom's like, ah, blood of Jesus, pulled out a Bible, but I start praying. Everything you've described, I have no idea, because I've never seen it. No, the only film. thing I've seen of Brother Martin is the cover. Yeah, it's two cowboys yeah, in the that. wild who are in love, innit? 
That's what it is. They've got <laughs> wives and kids. <laughs> Every oh, serious? Yeah, and they're doing things undercover. That's what I've, um, I remember. Hey, is, that, is that yours or mine's? No, that's yours, bro. Family Guy has a skit on it where it's basically Brokeback Mountain from the, the perspective ho- of the horses. The horse. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. And the horse I, walks in. And the horse is just... Yeah, yeah, the horse you basically... He goes to wake man up. The horse digs his head in the tent. And the horse just runs out screaming. Bro. And he starts putting his legs up on the back. You know the horse is like... Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, no. Oh, God. The horse is... Finished. He's rattled. <laughs> so if I said these niggas slept in too long, let me go check. I was like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you know what that reminds that me of? I think the funniest situation is I have a friend of mine, yeah? So he's, his, he found out, so his uncle's gay, it? but when he was younger, he's like, when he knew his uncle was gay, he was like, it's only when he got a little older because he'd go to his uncle's house mm. all the time and his uncle's brethren, that he, he's like, his uncle used to live with his brethren. Then as he got older, yeah, like, there's only one bed in there. <laughs> No way. Oh, yeah. 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 Crazy. So, it's, but, but it's Crazy. funny. You know the things you, you pick up on as you get older? You know you have that moment and you're like, aha! aha! <laughs> I knew your niggas was fucking. Crazy. That's like, that's like Bear Man saying they used to have Bear uh, uh, uncles to come over to the house. Man. Because you know you start to reason. Uncles that weren't related to your yeah. family. Because you're like, why was <laughs> Uncle Topless in the yard? And you start realizing, oh, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Mum was getting pammed by uh, all these brothers. Yeah, Mum was getting beat up. Like, like, like bro, why was up? Uncle coming out of your room? Mm. But why do we call them Uncle? Can't we just call them like, I respect. Big I, think or... I think it's out of respect, no? No, you just. I think it's, it's a, a bit a, mad. It's an aft thing, though. Yeah, it's an aft thing. Because I got I got West Indian brethren, and they're like their mums are like. Tina. Me, no. Don't call me auntie. Yeah. Mm. Tina. I don't, I don't like it. Hi, mm. Tina. That's how to hear. Yeah, In the crib, you don't be all right there, Tina. It's mad. And yeah. for me, it's, I, just Feels feel, weird. I just feel weird doing yeah, it. Yeah, 100%. Where was we? I was with Yusuf one time and we went to see a film that was, I feel, a preview or whatever. And we were basically saying that um, we're leaving and we were calling the guy uncle and he got mad. The mm. guy got pop up and said, don't call me uncle. You're talking about me and your family. I was like, brother, mm-hmm. sorry, like, so it's just, we're African, isn't it? Like, so now, uncle, we don't know, your, we don't even know your name. Yeah. So I'm saying, but you're getting upset that we're calling you uncles. Ah, oh, no, 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 all right, cool. It's, no a, problem. it's a respect thing, isn't it? I, I think West Indians, they do, the, they do more like sir, madam. Mm. If it's someone older, like a grandparent or something. Do they? It's, mm. I think it's more like that over there, like as in sir, madam, or like, it's a bit more respectful like that. But generally speaking, us is... Anyone older than us, mm. even if it's a couple of years, mm. it's your uncle. could be your uncle, mm. auntie, you know what I'm saying? Do you put straight? No. Who? No. Put straight. straight. You, like, like, you can, you can yeah. even do that one where you just yeah. put I your hand Nigeria, down. How do you not know? Yeah. But, Wait, no, no, but no, but, no, but, no, but, no, but, as in no, like, like, I know like, all Rich heard was prostate. <laughs> and he was like, hey. I said, whoa. <laughs> I said, what's going on here? He did prostate. I'm confused. All the rich had the cavity check. <laughs> I said, what is going on here, bro? It's when Frost he lay down rich, and... Rich is thinking when you bend sense. over and cough. <laughs> no, but I said, so what? Joe, you know what? He's too shit of that. Is that. Yeah, man's seen that action too many times. Like, I would hate that, you know. What? What man strip man and say bend over and cough? I wouldn't even do it, bro. But what do you do? Put, 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 yeah, put me in social yeah. confinement, man. What do you do, though? Bend right, over really? and cough. Okay, but what, what happens? What kind of rubbish is this? What happens if they beat you senseless? You knock out and you wake up and some man's got his finger in your bum anyway. So What is happening? <laughs> what are you going to do, bro? <laughs> what are you going to do? What? No, what are you going to do then? Go back to sleep. He's, he's doing his own cavity Go back check. to sleep. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Marvin, you did say, you know, Go back to sleep. as wild as it sounds, you have seen the videos of the guys in America where, oh, say, like, shit. basically, you'd be getting rushed in jail, right? Yeah. The man said they'll rush you. And then after you get rushed, a man will pull your trousers down, spread your cheeks and spit in your ass. No, no, no. Because <laughs> you know why? Whoa, whoa, yeah, wait, 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 wait. wait. Right. But, wait. Yeah. but there's an explanation as to why. Because now, you know what I mean? It goes down on books, a sexual assault. Yes, yeah, so, so, so they have to call your family member. And now, you got it on your record. So, because it's a violation. That is crazy, man. What? Bro, that but is I, too much, man. Wait, have you had a duty gun? What? Oh, no, 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 yours is. How did you find out? Yeah, yeah. No, you know that, bro. No, 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 no. I'm talking about how them man found oh, out. Oh, okay. Not you, as in like, like, yo, you need to get this nigga yeah. back, man. <laughs> <laughs> yo, hey, Article 13, yeah. Chapter 4 says, slip out of Freddie Cheek's spin his ass, right. man. I didn't know that, They got to bring his parents, Somebody, yeah. somebody yeah. probably, what? somebody did, probably did it out of the fun, time. and then yeah. some other people Bro, I don't. That is brazen. Never have I rushed a man in school before. Yeah. And thought, 
<laughs> Drop his pants and spit on his bum. <laughs> what? Why? That is brazy. Yeah, that's too much. Oh, but that's, too no, much. come on, bro. That's mad dramatic, though. Yeah. Because think about it. Most men can take a, a, a rushing. Mm. You know what I mean? A proper beat. Nah, you say most men. No, no, I'm saying like in yeah. jail. Like, so there's niggas, bro. You can beat them half to death. Mm. A man will survive it or yeah, whatever. Because yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? They can take a rushing. What, you know what I mean? Something like that, bro. You bounce back from yeah, there. Yeah, your, bum's probably... wet, your bum's wet as well. <laughs> it's wet. You just wake up and just your bum's wet. wet for no reason. You know it's proper. What? Nah. You know what I mean? Like, proper, proper been violated. Crazy. Moist cheeks. And then they had the obviously the Glock Dookie. Yeah. So you Glock mean, Dookie. Yeah. So basically, you know a toothpaste container? Mm. They fill it up with Anything shit, it could be shit, cum. semen, anything. How if do it, you put it in there? <laughs> I know it's so cold. How do you put it in there? So you cut the end, the back, you know what I mean? You fill it up with stuff, and then as they walk by, it's a dry yeah. bite in your face. These yeah. men are doing manufacturers in jail, bro. That yeah. is crazy. So they call bro. that trauma. Bro, it's yeah. funny because they call it a Glock Dookie. <laughs> and you know what you're like? Dookie, no. I think the name is even worse than the action, bro. But the maddest thing is man this. Man hit you to, with a Glock Dookie. Bro. This just shows you. Like, I've heard enough. I don't need to go Joe. Yeah. I'm Joe in America is different, bro. Different, different. There's a program on Netflix. Um, this guy, he done 15 years in England and it turns out he was wrongly convicted. So now right. he goes around to different jails all over the world and he goes into, you know, he might be there two, three days and all that. And he goes into like the worst jails I've ever seen in my life. Like America... Is bad, hands down. But there's worse jails. Yeah, there. like like mm. Bolivia. Yeah, mm. I was just yeah, thinking Brazil of that. And them, man, yeah, yeah, Nigeria, it, it, South Africa, brother. The, them cells where they have thirty man in Serious. one cell. Did you hear about that white no guy? No air conditioning. Did you hear about that white guy who went in for fraud? Yeah, and in, then, in South Africa, he caught AIDS. There were like six, seven men, <laughs> like going in on him man, every day. Up, you know? <laughs> every day. <laughs> Jesus, okay, every day. That's rough, bro. No, but imagine you went there for like fraud, Ford. and then you come out. We I'm not gonna lie, man. That's mad. They someone, need to keep people separate. Someone's got a diamond. I'm, I'm, uh, man went from that, brother. Got... No, I'm saying you see me. I, I just know how I am. Man. Yeah. I just, once certain things happen to me. No, yeah. but, he, but he said. I remember yeah, that. Ten man at a time. I remember that program, and he yeah. was like, "I used to fight at the beginning, but he's like, <laughs> you stop fighting, <laughs> brother." He said, "There's so many man. It's wrong. I don't care. I've loved you it. Keep fighting. Do you remember? Do you, Yo, you man have seen Oz. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember? Oh, Oz? That's Oz? crazy. Remember Oz? Channel Five. It's called Adabisi. Remember Adabisi and the thing he had the hat. He used to wear it on the side and it would yes. never fall off his head. Yeah. I, I was thinking of the woman prison program. No, 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 no. Oz is this one. That's it. That's a big show. Bro. Big show. No, but big Oz, show. No, Oz was crazy. Because remember, there was the brother where he came in on, it was a driving, you know what mm. I mean, whatever, like vehicular manslaughter, mm. or some shit. So he's got a long stretch and there was the Nazi brother who would always, 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 you know what I mean, do crazy, you know, do crazy stuff to him. So as time goes on, he becomes hardened as well. So the Nazi brother, his kid ended up in jail. No Ooh, and my man did the same. Well, he back. could, when the other brother, because he's like them now, mm. did the same thing to my man's Crazy. son. My man went from PPP to HIV. Crazy. Yeah. What's going on? That is, that is, that's too crazy. Oh, a PPP loan. Oh yeah, my God. <laughs> For fraud. That yeah. one, you know what I mean? It took me way too long to get there. Jesus. <laughs> There's certain countries that you just don't do certain yeah. things. things. Bro, and, yeah. just today I saw a thingy. So you see how all the car thefts are going on yeah. in the world, essentially. Over here is crazy. So in America, car thefts are going crazy. So this you, um, he's 23. Mm. So he was the ringleader of this car theft ring or whatever. So I think with him, they had him linked to 13 car thefts. So 13 car thefts. And he was even going as far as renting some of the cars out that they stole and so on. Crazy. Bragging about making two to 500 a day or whatever. Got 25 years. 25? Yeah, that's what I, that's, wow. that's what I don't for like for, about. For 13 cars. <laughs> Bro, that's, brother, what? that's not worth He's it. making how much a day? <laughs> it's, two not bills. It, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Hey, that's what I don't like about America. Yeah. You can go do a crime and get 160. You can do a, but you can do a burglary in America and get 30 25 years. years bro, 25 years. 25 years. Like, I'm not saying burglaries. No, I'm are, not. Uh, I condone it, but bro, but like, yeah, but at least damn. get at least get a sentence that fixed the crime, bro. You see, in America, yeah, the prison obviously the prison system over there is privatized. They make mm, money out of it. Yeah, fact, mm. it's cheap. It's cheap. They make money over here as well. Yeah, but not like America. Yeah, because yeah. over here, there's it costs 36 grand there, to keep someone in jail here. There's issues with um, over here with um, overcrowding. Mm, in America, yeah. no such thing. They don't oh, they just yeah, build another one. We just build another one. They got space. Yeah, because you know the desert prison. You know where there was one. It's in Texas somewhere, mm. and it's just I think tense. I know you're about. In the desert, mm, where they're in desert, and they put them all in pink uniforms just to embarrass them. So the jail uniform is pink, oh, no, and they're in the not. desert, mom. So think of being in the desert, yeah, being like you're just literally faced with the elements, and you're just sleeping in tents. That bitch Crazy. is hot, bro. 
it is crazy because in America, you know, there's prisons where they're like, you can go to a regular prison and do 25 years. You could come to this prison and do 10. Most people are like, yeah, I'm going to take you to it. <laughs> That's how bad the prison crazy. is. Niggas are like, Yo, <laughs> go, go, best, go and give me that 25. Because 10 years of this, you're a different person. You know PNB Rock? Remember mm. the rapper? Yeah, 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 Was it last yeah, year or the year before? It was last yeah. year. So it was last year. Either last year or the year before. Or was it this year? Yeah. Might be this year. No, no, definitely either last year or the year before. Nah, it might be this year, you know, because that was but, recent. Bro. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. I forget. I think it was this year, you know. Year, you know? I might be, trust me, it was last year. The guy who, <laughs> one of the guys who was part of it, put 230 years. What? If you, see the, if you see the brother, the way he was screaming in court, yeah, cried, yeah? It was like, yeah. What? <laughs> I was no, say, but at that point, I was just, gonna say he's gonna cry in the car. Just, he's gonna just, cry no. over here. Yeah. Just at that point, just tell me I'm gonna die in jail. Because why? Like, two hundred thirty years. No, but the problem is over here. For example, life is not life. Here. No, you, life is like 25, 15, or, 15 yeah. 25. Good behavior. You might be out. Like whatever. Mm. In your lifetime, you'll get out. Mm. In America, you are not seeing yeah. light yeah, of day. That's crazy, it's done. Bro. There's one dude I saw in an American one that was like, that Louis Free was talking to him. And he was like, "Oh, how long are you in for?" I think it was like 19. Mm. It was like, I've been in for like 130 years. Whoa. Some shit, yeah. So literally, was like, well, what did you do? He's like, <coughs> I killed a crackhead over $20. And the brother was like, so. Oh, yes, I know. You exactly. that one, yeah. It? yeah. So he was like, so you're in here for 130 years or however long, mm. over $20. That's crazy. And he's like, yeah, but. And then he started to break down his life and he's like, my mum's. Um, a drug addict and a prostitute, my sister the prostitute. But he was like, jail's better. Like, jail's better. Jail, it's better for me to be in jail than out there. Because Crazy. the responsibility I have over there and what yeah. I keep no. seeing. Mm. I'd rather so, be in here. So it sounds like he done it just to go to jail. But I'm like, brother, do you know how mad it is? That that is bonkers, bro. Yeah. Would you kill yourself if they gave you that much time? Depends. No, I'm not um, doing that, man. 120 years. The thing is, I, could, I couldn't kill myself because of like what I believe in and I just couldn't do it, bro. Even though I could, yeah, like, obviously it's not a banter or nothing, but I wouldn't even do it properly, bro. Like, I'll try and do it. Oh, no, but they, when is, it, uh, obviously, we're like, not taking uh, the piss out of anyone. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Or but that's what I'm saying. I could never do it. Mm. But even then, they say, remember, they say if it's across, that's not, that's the tension. If it's mm. down. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man said you meant that. Just <laughs> so what I'm saying. That's the, that's, that's the yeah, problem. Yeah, sideways so, if you're playing games, in it. Yeah, basically. So I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. I just, I can't do it. So but I what would you do with that time? That 120? Read. I'm going to become a lawyer. I'm going to tell you. The For who, bruv? <laughs> I don't tell know, you, bruv. When, I the Lincoln bro. lawyer from Hackney. <laughs> For me, the first thing I'm going to do when I get into jail, yeah, to let every know I'm, everyone know I'm crazy, I'm going to shit myself and just walk around. <laughs> There's a method to the madness. Nobody's. That smells like shit. What nah, some guys will. Some guys will. Some guys will be like, mm. <laughs> 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 you must be got the shitty bone. Let's say, let's say, you kinky though, <laughs> bro. If you're willing, if you're, if you're willing, if you're willing to work your way through that shit, you know what I mean. Do your thing, but you know what I mean. You're a different kind of animal. I'm looking at you like shit got real. Let's say, mm, you got the shitty bone. I'm walking around. You know them war stripes, bro. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. It's only gonna last so long though. It's like, crazy. You just my type, bro. <laughs> what? Who is? I swear I saw someone, a clip the other day. Someone pretending to be crazy in court or mm. something in America. That, that, hey, was, bro. that was a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was I was looking at you, bro. And, 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 and the, 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 judge was, the judge was like, "Yeah, can you tell your clients allow it. Yeah, like, relax. Like, like, you're still yeah. getting the sentence, bro. Allow me. You know bro. what it is it? If you do it from the get go, cool, fair enough. The then you brother, got a chance, brother. You can't do it halfway through but your court. They're, like, bro, they're looking at this man like, what mental <laughs> illness are you imitating? But no, but, te- no, but te- technically speaking, though, it could happen, though. If, I, you, if you were to go to jail and it hits the fan, and one day you're sitting in your cell, and then your lawyer, like, because obviously your lawyer will speak to you in it, and your lawyer will say, like, how's the case looking? It's not looking good, you know. Mm. Uh, what, 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 like, roughly, what are we looking at? Like, what, four years, five years? Four years, five <laughs> years. You might say 400. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking at, I mean, the maximum, I mean, the prosecution pushed for the maximum, which is 140 years. But the minimum is 80. Mm. You're Jesus. going mad on the spot, bro. Man. On the spot, man. On the spot, bro. Bro, bro. <laughs> bro, <yeah. laughs> but bro. On the spot, I am doing but that. But the thing. Man said the minimum is 80, you know. This is how I know his lawyer wasn't in on this situation, yeah? Because his lawyer would have told him, that's not how that mental illness you're copying manifest. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because yeah, a man was just... in there, bro. A man was in there. I don't know what he was doing, bro. I, I, I was like, brother, you need to sit down, man. Because you remember, um, you've seen The Soprano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember Corrado? 
when he was trying to, when he was doing the crazy thing. I think so. I don't, so maybe. with him because he was on. Remember, he was on house arrest, mm-hmm. and he started doing the crazy. Like he was like literally they're going for the you know the crazy thing. Like he's old, mm-hmm. trying to be crazy. Where he walked over to the neighbor's house. Uh, and he's like, yes, can I have some yes, ice cream? Yes, come back to me. Come <clears> back have to some me. ice cream? You know, little things like that, mm. where you're like, okay, that's an old man losing his mind. But if he started doing all of that, you yeah. know, it's like... He's doing a dyslexic crip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, bro, literally. It's literally like you're doing too much. You know, you're looking at a man like... There was also the brother, remember, the one who represented himself. Ah, oh, I see that. Oh, right, yeah, 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 I see that. Yeah, 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 I see that. Bro, I see but that. you know what I mean? like... Done. Don't let this time. <laughs> <laughs> and his hair was like that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that is going to get me. Was it? Listen, listen to him. Listen to him. 120 years. Yeah, bro. Get the fuck out of my car. He just did. <laughs> like, oh, look at what he did, bro. Yeah, and I, I was like, like, bro, the nerve. Like, you know, you look at someone and you're like, you're not getting out of that, man. You're not getting out of that. This, that like, you know, and the thing is, when we talk about crazy sick people, mm. that man was mentally ill. Like, mm. if you look at how what he was doing mm. versus what the other brother was doing, this dude here, you know, like, you killed your kid and you have the nerve Crazy. to come out here and stand in front of these people yeah. and do all of this. You are sick. And I don't think I'll ever represent myself unless I know exactly what is... I mean, Cause bro, because you don't want to go to jail for life. Yourself, bro. This is, this is this fine land here, man. I need someone to find a loophole somewhere. He knew, yeah, bro. Yes. He knew. You know when you look at... There's certain times he probably looked at his case, bro, and he was like, I'm cooked. I just go out with a bank. Yeah, but even then, it's like, again, that's why you got lawyers, isn't it? Just don't go to jail. I was actually watching, I was watching a review of Young Thug's case Mm. from a former prosecutor. He's from Bearway. Oh yeah, he's mm. yeah, yeah, in there. You know what I mean? He's, he, you know what I mean? He, uh, you know what I mean? We definitely believe what he says. You what know what I mean? What do you mean? say? YSL stands for fashion brand. <laughs> Brother, he wears female right, clothes. Right, so right, I can be a gangster. No, but the thing <laughs> is, I'm not gonna lie to you. I believe it to an extent. I feel like YSL might have been like they might have used another acronym, but I feel like that's where it came from originally. Mm. So technically, he can get away with it. Mm. It was young slime life. But yeah. what does <laughs> he? You know, what I mean? <laughs> you know, he did that shit. But what the prosecutor, the former prosecutor, was saying, yeah, is these guys have. Like, he's like, Doug has some really, really good lawyers. Mm. And he was like, for him, he's like, this case isn't as cut as dry mm. as it appears. Essentially, he was like, he feels like it's a shit show. Mm. The prosecutor that's currently there and stuff like that, he feels like they've dropped the ball on a lot of things mm. that Doug's lawyers can, you know, you know, potentially, Use, like, uh, you know, to get case. a mistrial. Because he's like, the fact that it's taken <clears throat> nearly nine months to get... You know what mm. I mean? A jury That's in itself, fun. eight to nine months. He's like, the trial hasn't yeah. even started yet. And even the lawyer, I mean, even the judge was switching one time. It was like, bro, you're mm. not taking too long, bro. Yeah. And yeah. From, from the time the judge is saying, judge yeah, is getting yeah, frustrated. He's yeah. getting frustrated. And it's the same same judge, right? And they said yeah. that they had like, uh, like, was it 300 witnesses or something like that? Yeah. Or 500 witnesses? They've, you've got bears. So st- let's start hearing And them, remember, they were, they were 30 people. Um, there were 30 defendants initially. Only six left. Crazy. So, so what? The rest of them in sentence. So some of them got plea deals. Yeah, gun some gone. of them got dropped out of the case where they just had to mm. just let them. And there's only six people left mm. on the case that's, essentially. That, that's so the guy was nice. like, yeah, his brother got out and then he got gum on the gun charge on some other shit. Yeah, oh, he's no back way. in. Oh, yeah. 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 Your brother got a plea deal because the thing is, people don't realize a lot of these plea deals just set you up. Mm. So a lot yeah, of these plea yeah, deals yeah, are yeah. like, yeah, you're out, but you're on you're on a. Thin yeah, thread, bro. Yeah, yeah. And these men, the, the life they live, mm. you need a gun. You can't stop. I can't not have a gun because I don't know who I'm going to buck into. And not even that, bro. Just because you decided you're not on nothing no more, it doesn't mean the guys Extra you have reason. issues with yeah, yeah, are yeah, not yeah, on. Yeah, and yeah. that's, you know what I mean? That's kind of the side of being, living a certain way. You know, you can sit here and say, I'm genuinely not on nothing. And this like, so? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I remember XYZ <laughs> that you did to me I on know. the 4th of November, I'm, 1995. You know what's funny? And I'm going to catch you. I've heard of a couple of men like that. Obviously, background, you know, <coughs> in this part of town, yeah. thing that still think about stuff that happened back in the day and all that. But obviously, you're, like, you're my grown ass man, bro. Get the hell out of here. I live. Obviously, I live a different life now. So yeah, don't people don't. But the thing is, some people don't forget. No, nah, that's you know? cool. I don't care if you forget or forgive. I'm, I'm living a different life now. So I'm on another path. Full stop in it. So this is no. I hear what you're, you're saying. Telling me I might spend the block, but don't make me. <laughs> I, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about in general that certain people think like now that, for example, if me and King have got beef, you can have an epiphany now. And you're at work mm. now with your pea coat on, mm. but uh, I, I'm not got my pea coat on. Yeah. No, Fuck I, your hear you, I, 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 I hear you, nigga. I remember what happened. Is that what's called a pea coat? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, okay, so, so when I so when I see King, yeah. yeah. So I know you think you're Fuck your tie and your shoes. No, I, I, your, I, I, your, I, I hear and your shoes. I hear, I hear what you're saying, but I am actually talking about myself. No, right? no, I hear. I, I, the thing is, the reason I'm not. 
I'm not talking about you because I, mm. I want to remove you from this, this scenario. Is, okay, cool. I want to chat about my bridges like that. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying, like, hypothetically, mm. if I had issues with King yeah, back yeah, day, yeah, yeah. Mm. King could not. I can't see King on Shoreditch High Street mm. and man's telling me I'm on the way to work. Brother, <laughs> take your coat off, man. <laughs> Take your coat off. Wait, what? Wait. No, Wait what if I'm with my wife and kids? Yeah, man let, them watch. <laughs> let them watch. Let them watch. Man, no, I, I don't it's know. Time, your wife and kids. It's time for your family to soon find out if you really know about it. Nah, you know, you, you put them on the bus. No, no, it happens, bro. I'll never forget. This is a couple of years ago. Um, I was speaking to a friend of mine. And he had, you know, kind of gotten into a situation where he bumped into somebody he had real, real issues with, mm-hmm. right? And bear in mind, you know, my boy had been invited to... Number 10, you know what I mean? To speak about certain things, mm. you know what I mean? He had dealt with, it's a friend of ours, he had dealt with, um, you know what I mean? Helping kids come off the streets mm. and different things. And he bumped into this one person that, you know, you proper, proper issues with, yeah? And it's crazy because he grabbed him and he was holding him down, yeah? Jesus. Proper holding him down. And obviously people in the streets intervened, you know what I mean? They pulled them off or whatever and they separated them and the guy, you know what I mean? Went off or whatever. But in the moment, he was like, I genuinely wanted to do him something. Afterwards, and now I'm like, I would have, you know, just fumbled everything. Yeah. In that moment, he was 100%. like, but in the moment, yeah, he was like, all that rage from back then came back. And he was like, as he was looking at him, he was like, I couldn't let it go mm. in that moment. You know yeah. what I mean? He's like, now looking back at it, I was like, mm. I could have just wasted the last 10, 15 years Thank of my so. life. But it was like, <clears throat> the guy's in front of me, I'm holding him. And mm. all I could think of is how we got here. Risk and, versus reward, isn't and it? this is it. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but literally, and he was thinking of his kids. And at the, like afterwards, yeah, he was like, he was so rattled, yeah, because he was like, I didn't even think of my kids in that moment. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. now I'm thinking of real, my situation with this, no. and it proper rattled him. And he's like, he was grateful for those people pulling him off and yeah. letting the situation go how it mm. did because he was like, yo, I would have had to, you know what I mean? I would have. Like a, a few seconds longer, he might have done something. And, and this no, is I it. get. I, I 100% get. And there's, there's certain times where, like, me, just, myself, I have to just. I know. know. I, I, see, I, I see this. I have to, I have to <laughs> so I mean, I have to think. And like, I, and that's why I know I'm a thinking man. So I'm like, nah, in that situation, I'm going to do X, Y, Z. Bro, I'm not you. That's what I'm saying. I'm not you, bloody, bloody, blah. But me, personally. <clears throat> you have to think about it. Yeah, I have to. I'm a thinking man. But it? you know why right. I know you're right? Because I've seen you. And it's funny because have you ever, you know, Rich, and he's reasoning with a man about don't make me have to do this. Like, you know what I mean? Help me help you. <laughs> Wait, man's re- Rich is reasoning with a man. <laughs> he was reasoning with this. You know, he's reasoning with a man. Wait, you know what he's telling niggas like, I don't want to do this. You know what it is, I don't yeah. want you to make me I've want to do this. I've always known, yeah, prevention is better than cure. Mom, mm. I've known you a long time, bro. <laughs> Just like I'm saying, there's certain certain positions we don't need to be in, bro. Because mm. I know what comes next. Yeah. And I know how far I might have to go. I don't want to go there. Yeah. Because there, there's repercussions. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's long, as you just said. Yeah. And it's funny you... what you're telling the nigga, nigga, you don't want this. You know what yeah. you're telling man. Message, message, listen. But man want ego to get involved. <laughs> man want ego to get involved in this yeah. and that. Brother, allow it, man. Go and that's That's proper self-control. Bro, I, 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 that's why I look. That's why I go to the gym. Look, you see the boxing gloves down there, bro? I literally just come back from the gym. Just like I'm saying. Yeah, bro. just take that rage out. Don't, yeah. but don't listen. Don't believe Rich. What do you mean? Don't believe? <laughs> no, Marvin, think about it. If you think of Rich, bro, and if you do, you know exactly what situation listen, I'm thinking of. Know. You know how it could have gone. Let the, man, let the man land. No one here is going to say. What? You know what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Jump on the two's bombs. You're not gonna say. Go, 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 Let me hear this. We need to play football together, innit? Yeah. <laughs> so one time the team's gone like, I know. to another game, funny, yeah. I heard this story from someone else. Bro, That's not even my... <laughs> The game was like, I don't know, I don't know. Actually, no, no. We had the game, but the needs man wanted to go to either Birmingham or Newcastle after the game. But for some reason I couldn't make it, so I didn't go. Next day, I'm getting calls. Hey, nah, Rich. Hey, Rich, be up. My man, you know. I said, what? I said, but when I saw man's pictures, I said, what in the raccoon is going on here, bro? <laughs> Gave man two black eyes, bro. Jesus. Two. But it was finished. So when I heard the story, I heard Richard was giving him bare tiger knees, bro. Oh. Bare knees. Bow. <laughs> Wait, how long ago was this? Nah, this is time ago still. This is time, time No, still. this is the but, funniest. But my, but my man tried it, though. That's what I'm saying, though. Yeah, 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 but Rich finished it. No, but you've never known me to be an instigator mm. or an aggressor. When you think about it, like, yeah. if something happens, I'll defend myself. I'm not going to, like, I, 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 I prefer we don't get into anything X, Y, Z. But if it happens, then let's go. This, mm. That's what I'm saying. That's different. 
Other than that, bro, come on, bro. I'm a peaceful brother, So man. the funniest story I heard about, it was another <laughs> story of football where, you know what I mean, I, heard, I, I think it was, you know what I mean, Rich has gotten into it with someone and I think something was said in a group conversation or whatever. My brother was like, Rich was like, I'm coming to Man's Yard. And my brother was like, you know what I'm talking about. And, yeah, and yeah, was yeah. like, he knew Rich was on smoke, yeah. Because bear in mind, man weren't even driving them times. Man said, Rich got the bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I told man, I told man, yo, bro, give me your passport, didn't I, man? Listen, man caught the bus to go fight it. All right, give me your passport, didn't I? <laughs> see what's going on. Oh, you, man, listen, man. Prevention is better than cure, bro. I keep telling people it's long rough, man. That's what I'm saying. Do you know how much a man wants to kick your head off if he's willing to catch the bus to come find you? Bro, listen, there's certain times when the rage takes over. I don't and, like being angry, bro. And there's only mm. two people I know with that kind of smoke. Him and me. They're bad. You know what I mean? Where? Yeah, I'm going to catch the bus. Like I'm going to confide you. The fuck? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, see, I don't think I'm that mad to catch a bus. I can drive to a yard and do if something. I'm, if I'm up, but if I'm, when I'm on the bus and I'm looking at the stops go past, I'll calm down by the time I get to you. There's too, <laughs> bro, there's too many stops, bro. There's too many. Like, by the time I get to yeah, your yard, I'm like, 17 bus stops. Bro, yeah, by the time I get to your yard, I'm like, yo, what's good, brother? Too much. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Whereas oh. if I'm driving, I'm speeding, you're hearing a, a, maybe, I don't know, a bit of rap music. You're so in the you're, zone, you're bro. Down and, I don't like being angry from stops, man. It's, it's not, not worth it. it like being angry lowers your intelligence. Like for that period of time when you're angry. Yeah, they say ang- they say anger is one short, one work, one letter short of danger. So, yeah, oh, so that's, was, a mm, yeah that's a bar. Yeah, that's a bar. And that's why when I see Americans and you know when man are catching flights <laughs> in different states to beef man, I'm like you sat in the airport for two hours. All that time, man. You checked. So you checked in, got through passport control, you've gone through security, you sat on a plane, you've landed, you've exited the airport, you've had to go find man. We're a day and a half in. Yeah. And you're still angry. I don't think a mad America is a real place. I think it's a social experiment. 100%. Everyone and I genuinely believe that. I get why they say that. America's not real. I get why they say that. There's too many things I see coming out of America, mm. bro, where I'm like, and for me, the, do you know what proof that America's not real, a real place? Sexy red. Why? Everything about her. <laughs> so sexy bro, red. Sexy red. There's nothing. Bro, think of everything you've seen. She said, free my baby daddy. Like, I get that. You said, I heard it. Free my baby daddy. Hey! <laughs> <Steve>. <laughs> hey, look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you f- oh, degenerate. Oh, you made it so responsive the whole hey, episode. Yo. Man, <laughs> hey, no, sexy red is lit. I don't, know. I don't agree I, with her lifestyle. Nah, but, but when you look lit. at it, I feel like see that tune there. I, you know, what I mean, it's not particularly my cup of tea. But I understand why that took yeah. off. But I feel like as it went on, it became like you know one of those ones where they're sitting in the meeting, bro, where yeah. they like turn the heat up. We yeah. need, you know what I mean? Just because mm, I sat mm. there and I was like, "What the fuck, bro? <laughs> bro, it's literally like you know when you think of let's when you look at sexy red, right? Let's think of if somebody from let's say a different culture mm. was to do that, and let's say pretend it was a black person, we would be so mad, yeah, because you know like it's every stereotype mm-hmm. within, especially this mm-hmm. new song, whatever mm-hmm. you know, like every stereotype mm-hmm. is in that. But when she does it, it's literally like we're in there going, I'm yeah. like, nah, bro. Like, what the fuck is that? No, but isn't that the key, though, that she is black, so we yeah. let her off? That's no, like, and that, that's why that, we shouldn't. No, but that's like, a black person, that's like a black person saying nigga. Yeah, we, we don't, don't care. care. Yeah, and if, this if somebody is it, white says yeah. nigga, so it's, it's kind of the same thing. That I get what you're saying, that like a lot of the stereotypes are a lot of... Can I ask you guys a question? I feel like it's destructive, man. How far 100%. is Ratchet? Like, how far is it? Like, how far is what's it too, that What do you mean, what's like, too far? I get, yeah, I get, that becomes, I get, I get, I get, like, sexy far. I get what Keith's saying, because sexy is pushing the boat, because she's, like, uh, yeah. She's bro, she done push that boat to Canada, <laughs> bro. Because yeah, she's pregnant and you still twerking, in, in it. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, think of a video. She's yeah. pregnant saying, fuck my baby daddy. No, free my baby daddy. I thought it was fuck my baby nah, daddy. Nah, free my baby daddy, yeah. No, but, no, but no that's the clean version. No, but it can't, be, it? It, can't, uh. it can't be free my baby daddy, because her baby daddy's been in jail before she was pregnant. But the music video, she's got the banner saying, free my baby daddy. No, I hear that, but but she can say free, but that you's not her baby daddy. It could be second baby daddy. Yeah, oh, true, true. No, 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 because I remember when the video came out, remember when someone posted the video of her sleeping? Then she had an interview with someone, and then they were like, oh, does your baby daddy know about it? He's gone... I don't think so. Because no. he hasn't called me from jail yet. Yeah. But when he does call me from jail, mm. you know, she was like, Imapoli called me tonight once he sees his interview. Yeah, she was giving that cranium, yeah, bruv. I see that. I see that. I see that. Insane, bruv. 
I didn't yeah. see the video still. So. Yeah, I, I saw the like, video. I saw the video. The video was crazy. When I heard she had a sex tape out, yeah, that's the first celebrity sex tape. I had no interest in <laughs> <laughs> I, You know, that was one where I could genuinely say, I'm okay not seeing that. Um, I did see some comments about it, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think one of the funniest comments I saw was someone say, so is you know, someone said, definitely not pink. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh my god. god. Rude. Said what the cookies roast beef, yeah. <laughs> Tony Carver, you know. That's it. That's it. Sunday roast. That's it. Everything over there is brown. <laughs> think about it, she, she's doing a music video while pregnant in yeah. jail. Okay, really? so in a jail, was she? It's in a jail video. It's a jail, yeah, jail video. Uh, I, 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 I see the video. I see yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I've not watched the whole video. I've seen little clips of it. She's in. She's but, in, but, but in a makeshift jail. But I feel like the problem is. That they say art imitates life for some people. Mm. Yeah. And it, so, the, so the issue is a lot of these people, like even for example, when you when you watch a video in the UK of mm. like a rap artist, yeah, mm. maybe maybe now it's different. Like for example, you used to watch the gigs videos back in the mm-hmm. day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could spot the bad man in the background. Mm. Like I know this brother. I know you. I know. Like, yeah, I've heard yeah. of you. I've heard of you. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas nowadays, when you see that UK rap videos, it's you just a man them. Whereas when you see the rap videos in America and then in the hood, it's really and you got the little kids, you got the man on the bikes, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the man whole with it, the dog, bro, the it whole really environment is. The whole is yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see that this ain't a joke. Like, yeah. This is how we're living, you know. Mm. So I feel like what happens is that they just kind of amplify where they are, yeah. And also within the environment, if you're in the environment and you're lit, it kind of you want to be. It's weird. You you still want to be in the environment. Mm but show out in that environment. Do you know what I'm saying? 100%. So I feel like the, the difference is that in America that a lot of these artists, um, it pays for them to... Be extreme. Be ex- not, not be extreme, but it, it pays... Yeah. Yeah, authentic. Oh. Not oh. he wants to charge him. Okay. It pays for them to be... Um, what's, what's the word I'm looking what, for? Authentic? <laughs> As friendly as possible and mm. within that environment and, yeah. and stay true. Like, for example, Sexy Red now, if she becomes In America, famous, they want extreme. And no, so if she becomes famous and now she becomes clean, mm. it's like, what are you doing? They don't yeah, rate they, her they, no they, more. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 remember, her lane, when you, when you look at people like Meg Thee Stallion, mm. Lotto, Doja Cat, like, they've, mm. they've, all got, they've all got their lane, innit? Mm. Yeah. But Sexy Red's lane is, I am the most ratchet person you are ever going to mm. meet <laughs> and I'm standing on it. That, it, you know what you're saying is is true. You know what I mean? I think to a degree. And I agree with it, you know what I mean? Up until a point. Because I actually watched an interesting conversation about it on Joe Biden podcast. Mm. And they were talking about, you know, because they were saying, you know what, they've had enough of it, da, da, da. Cause, oh, and, sexy red. Yeah. Because it was literally like, at some point, you know what I mean? Like everyone enjoyed mm. what she was on. And they were like, up until now, they were like, Genuinely felt like they were like I, I don't listen to her projects or whatever. But they're like they listened to her first project where they genuinely felt like you know what this was her this is her lifestyle or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but they were like she's come too far to still be on this. Yeah, and what they were saying as well is like they feel like now it's more of there's a room full of people now saying you should be doing this. And because mm. they were like when they look at the difference between what she was doing then and what she's doing now, it's now worse. it seems more mm. like you know what I mean Stage. somebody's telling you yeah, yeah, that yeah, you yeah. need. To be doing this, yeah. where well, you need to be doing that, because you know when you look at it, like the first types of music she was making, I'm like, you're living in Section Eight housing, mm. you're living in this situation, so the music yeah. is reflective of that, of yeah. your situation. And now it's like somebody's telling you that you still need, need to, do to be doing this, mm. and it needs to be like this, and it needs to be like that. So they felt like it was just counterproductive at this point. It's true though, if you look at every other artist in terms of rap, even if it's you got ESTs, or you've got your yeah, city ESTG, girls, yeah. got all these people, like they've leveled up. Mm. Like the moment I start making money, even Fabio, like mm. big drip video to now, he's not mm. the same yeah, brother. Different. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Pop Smoke, the first, obviously RIP, first video is not the same as even his third video. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you kind of got to like level up to a degree. Like, yeah, you can still be talking the same thing. But even if you look at Gorilla and mm. um, is it Lola Brook and people like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see that they're trying to like, Take Level it up. Else, yeah. Even yeah, Cardi yeah. B when she first came out to now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cardi was the most ratchet. Yeah. yeah. But now she's gone, you know what yeah. I mean? Because she's in a different <gasps> situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's reflective because as a person, you know what I mean? You need to be able to, hey, I came from here. I'm here now. I'm here now. I'm here now. You know? Yeah, it's kind of like, there's certain artists we look at and they're like, you don't live a certain life no more. 
why are you talking about you know what I mean and mm. it's the same thing we yeah, have yeah, when yeah. it comes to certain male artists where we'll say to man you don't live that life no more why are you talking about da 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 you're a millionaire you're doing this you're doing mm. this why and I think for her it's the same one like we get it you come from X Y Z but you know with that being said I heard the same argument I don't know where I heard it somewhere online and they were saying that rappers in general for example rappers like Rick Ross uh, rappers like Meek Mill mm-hmm. um all these men, basically. You're 42 not, Doug. You're not living in the hood no more. Yeah. Like, yeah. Some Why are you still like, talking no, about that? 42 Doug might that. be. Like, certain yeah. man, like, yeah. might still be on the board of, like, <laughs> yeah. I ain't really made it yet. And the man them, like, what's my man? Um, The one that had the ski mask on. With, um, Pushesty. Yeah, like them man yeah. there, nah, nah, you're, you're still yeah, there. Yeah, you're yeah, still yeah. there. <laughs> you're still there, cool. But generally speaking, them man was still doing licks. Bro. <laughs> so, but, but I'm talking about man that have been, although yeah. you might be affiliated with the streets, you're so... Fu- you're not the, you don't live in the hood no more. Yeah. Mm. Like, so this rap you're rapping about, can we argue the same for these men that shouldn't your rap be changing? Like Jay-Z, for example. Jay-Z raps about art. Mm-hmm. He raps about a few things, but like as his life changed, he's rapping about different things. Mm-hmm. On Jiffy Fowler said the other day, I'm not rapping no more. I'm yeah. 48 Eight. years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't got nothing to say. I, I, I hear that, though. Like, I, I, heard heard I, I hear that, I hear that, though. There's got to be some kind of evolution. Do you know who I say? But I, but I think he should still rap, though. Who, on Jiffy Fowler? Yeah, 100%. Do you know I say who the most, the artists that have changed, not the most, because they're not the most, but I'd say mainstream artists that have gone from here to here. Migos, yeah? If you mm. look at the Migos when they started, yeah, mm. do you remember they were on a Vice documentary a couple of years ago yeah. where they ended up getting nicked. So they did the Vice documentary with the white dude or whatever, and he's come to their yard and had all kinds of burners and so on and so on. And they ended up getting nicked off the back of the documentary. Yeah, noisy of, raps, isn't it? Do you remember? Yeah, noisy and then, raps. Because they even they had uh, Skipper the Flipper. Yeah. And uh-huh. he was with them in the yard. Skipper and it the Flipper. It was the shoe. Oh, yeah. Like, it was just wild. So that when you look at the crazy. life they were living there <laughs> yeah. and the way they were talking and how they are now. Because when you look at Offset now, you look at how he was. Yeah. It, you know, like, where life now is reflective of our situation. Mm. Like, if you look at Offset and he's a fashion dude. Like, yeah. bro, Offset Denim is out there bidding. Offset is out there bidding on Michael Jackson's you know what I mean? He loves Michael Jackson. From, you know, little things like himself. that. And when you look at him from, you know, where he is now to where he was then, there's that evolution but as a person. I, I, I it wanna, doesn't take away from who he was. Yeah, yeah. I went to America and him and Cardi B had a, a McDonald's meal. Yeah, yeah. I, I pulled that. up to the drive through I looked, there's a Cardi B and Offset meal. That's brazy. crazy. It's a mad thing, bro. That's crazy. Like, for both of them, where they've come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, for him, yeah. so for him to be carrying out around guns now and still being tr- still trying to emulate yeah, what he was doing right. 12 years ago was like... But the problem is that then there's a disconnect because that's why Offset might release an album and it might not hit because the streets yeah. are going to say you're not here no more. Yeah, that's the problem. So that's the issue in terms of, as black people, is like, mm. what are we listening to? Because... Black people do this thing where they say stuff like, ah, oh, man ain't real, ain't authentic. You ain't never done anything criminal in your, your life. life. Yeah, true. How, how You're an you, accountant. How can you associate in your office? Bro, how yeah. can you associate with this brother? <laughs> Like, do you know what I'm saying? No, yeah. I hear that. But, uh, but I, you're saying you want a real dude mm, to rap. Mm. But like, it's like, why does that make a difference? Because you're, in inverted commas, what you want to hear, you're not even that. Mm, yeah. So how can you want to hear this in the music? Mm. Like, the thing is, I'm gonna lie. Sometimes when I when I do hear rappers and I know their backstory, it sounds a bit exciting, different. Oh. As in, like it hits more. Like when yeah. it's like Young Jeezy, I went Young Jeezy the other day. Mm. Like when I listen to Young Jeezy, I'm like, bro, I believed you at a point yeah. in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know so motivation saying? one on one. What? Yeah. what? Like, do you know what I'm saying? So when I'm listening crazy. to it, I'm doing that. Yeah. But obviously, every man done what they done, whatever. But some man have never done anything. Tracks. Mm. And you're on this. Yeah, the music's got to be. Or, or they'll do this thing where, like, for example, Takeshi 6 ix 9 will yeah. do what he's doing and then you're online saying, snitch, snitch. Yeah. Brother. You're an accountant. You're not, do you yeah. Account? Exactly. You're, yeah, yeah. You're even, account. Yeah, like, like, why are you so pressed by, by another man living by a code you don't even live by? Mm-hmm. You don't live by this code. Like, yeah. if, if you're street brothers that live by this code and they're like, oh, 6 ix 9 is a snake or is a rat, I get it because the life you live, That's you can, cold, you can mm-hmm. see this. You're like, this is disgusting. You got people who civilians that don't even do nothing, mm-hmm. and you're telling man calling because that's your rap. No, that's because mm-hmm. everyone's got an opinion now, mm-hmm. and sure. the social media has allowed everyone to have their opinion Thanks. and their thoughts and are like aired X Y Z. The same people that if police were to bag them today oh, and tell them albums. You're, you're getting <laughs> food, and tell them you're getting forty <laughs> years, <laughs> they're singing for <laughs> singing everyone. They got platinum, bro. Double platinum. Yeah, double platinum. I'm telling you, yeah. wait, do you guys think we could have our own version of Sexy Red? And do you think we would rate it? Do you think it would take off here or not? Remember, the our UK culture is different. Too nah. Conservative. 
I'll give you context, Marv. Um, I just sent something to you on um, Insta. Bro, Man City losing. Um, go on Insta. Eek. Play what I sent you. You've probably seen it. And it's from the guys in jail at the moment, yeah? And it shows you, like, we're, we're just not on. <laughs> we're not ready for that the video. Of, yeah. Crazy. He's got the long samurai. In these hands, he's got the peace in the car. So they crack what happened? Slap They're the in jail. I need context. Yeah. And the rhymes, he's got the long samurai. In these hands, he's got the long samurai. In his hands, he's got a long samurai. In his hands, he's got a long samurai. Instead of the whole world in your hands, I can't have the world at one time. I can't have the world at one. And then my adults are like that. Yeah. Yeah. Long samurai. In, in his hands, he's got the long samurai. I don't, 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 I don't listen to drill, bro. I can't mean, bro, no, no, for me, I've said it. I don't listen to drill. That's the one genre of music I cannot listen to. I can listen to everything. I can listen to, I got classic. Cool music in my phone, bro. I don't listen to drill, bro. Bro, drill is right. the one thing I've. I can't it's like a... the right drill song. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. in the, the car, gym, bro. In the Kate gym. Yeah. No, no, and for me, I'm not no, even it, saying it, the see, beats it, don't slap. The beats slap. There's certain songs where I sit there and I'm like, yo, this shit. You know what I mean? Like sonically, mm. it's crazy. And then the lyric, I'm like, can't listen to yeah, it. Forget like, it. Like honestly, like it's a choice where I've had to choose not to listen to it. Like now, like I can't do it to myself. Even if I'm listening to a mix or a playlist and it comes mm. on. Have to skip it. That's something I've genuinely what, chosen. Even pop smoke can't listen to none of oh, it. Oh wow! No, I can none do pop it. smoke. I can. I, I can can't do pop, do pop none of it because that's one of them genres of music. I was like, it's wild. But you know, what I mean, I was saying all of this to say, you know what? I listened to that in America, mother, that would go off, mm. like off. <laughs> you know how America is? That would go off. <laughs> I said he's got the long summer. Right. Bro, it is all I was thinking of was assembly in school, yeah. And you'd sit there, and, you know, you're singing. He got the whole well, world. <laughs> it, 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 and that's it. He got because remember in America when there was that summer mm. where all them guys were beefing. Mm. And they were remixing. Nee, 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 yeah, nee, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. remember when they were beefing off them songs, Marvin? Yeah. And they were doing millions. Yeah, pissing of on views the grave and all that. All, yeah. In America, That's that crazy, runs. Bro. Over here, grave, bro, yeah. the, the craziest video I saw over here was where these youths are talking about what are their ops here. Yeah? A man's running around with a skeleton. What? He must have seen it. Bro. Oh, yeah. A I saw skeleton? That. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Doing what? Yeah, yeah. Not, a real, not a real skeleton. No, no, not a real skeleton. But, but he's like, basically pretending it's one of the ops. He's and trying to bang you. And then with the thing, no, he's talking. He talking with the skeleton, like just say, like, oh, they might they, they like, ride out for you. Crazy. Like, oh, oh crazy. Bro, have you seen the one? Like, I, wow. Have you seen the one when the mum went to pay respects and the guy killed the mum? Yeah, yeah, in America. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He, the mum went to pay. Basically, he's they already shot, killed the guy. They shot. The mum went to drop flowers to to the dead son, and the guy killed the mum. I feel, like, yeah. I feel like the, the next gen is like there's the rule that like the problem is that back in the day there were people to enforce these rules in terms of this is what you don't do don't do you don't do yeah but I feel like as a over time a lot of man just went jail mm. so the youngers just didn't don't have care. no one no one to tell them don't, don't do this, do don't do this, this don't do that. and the yeah. olders that were around were just saying because it was in my interest it benefits me for you to run wild mm. because no, on my but, block my block's wild now mm. so you just rock because now that like, when has there ever been it's crazy, bro. Like the mum at the grave, that has nothing to do with anybody. Yeah, that's mm. insane. She's that's not involved. Crazy. I ain't dead in at the grave, bro. But the thing is, in America, I, I feel like America's is different, bro. In there was, terms of they're tapped. There was the you who remember where he got shot, and I think while well, like he had the back and forth with the person, and the guy who came to kill him, he killed him in his yard. So he's gone back and he's posed in his house, where's on all over the blood of where the oh other guy's got and killed. God. And then the guys broke and spun and they killed him same day. Yeah, that's devilish shit, bro. But you know when you're like, bro, like, why is your mind even there? No, but the worst one is when they film it. I got shot. I got shot. I'm driving. I'm driving. Like, brother, why are you on Instagram telling people you got shot? You know, you're Make it to the hospital, bro. The hospital, bro. <laughs> Man are trying to capitalize <laughs> off everything, you know. Death. Even death. Yeah, but in America, man. like, you know, I mean, hospital, social, you know, social, like, currency. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? That clout mm. capital is just a real crazy mm. over there where you're like you got shot and before you even called 911 man went on Instagram yeah it's gonna film it live that's crazy bro <laughs> all these men wanted to snitch on themselves I don't understand man you, you man are I mean? terrible there was criminals. one brother his name is terrible criminal he's a rapper his name is Honeycomb Brazy what 
That's you know, men. That's no, yeah, his name's Honey Cole. Is are you serious? America's no, no, no. And no, no. He's a psycho. He don't, don't, don't do bro. not, do not <laughs> listen to the name. America's and think. got some of the best names. Bro. <laughs> his yeah. name, Honey Cole Brazy. Honey Cole Brazy. Well, with him with the obs, obs. You know what I mean? Shot up his grandparents' house and set mm. the house alight with his grandparents in it. Oh my god. Yeah, that's deep rooted, bro. You can't come back. Like, his brother, yeah, like... Yeah, but he had, he had different beefs. And though. the beefs they have, you know, their beefs yeah. are different. Like, you know where man are talking about? You know what I mean? Like, they came out here and they shot up my whole family. You're like, who are you beefing? <laughs> like, what kind of problems do you have? Man's beefing Kaiser Sosa, you know. Brother. <laughs> and you know what? There's somewhere where white man's just rubbing b- 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 his hands like Suge Knight be like, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, y'all niggas killing each other. each other. I don't have to do nothing. That's the side. That's for me. That's the saddest bit, man. Like white, white people look at us and just laugh, bro. Yeah. The He's KKK the whole, was like, we're all hosting holiday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Got the logs, and it's crazy. And one on the beat. It's funny because you see with that you, yeah. There was a conversation where basically he he got like twenty something years in jail on a conspiracy. Mm. And then the conversation was, you know, should he have basically what, like the conversation was snitch. like, no, 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 he didn't. So he got 20 something years on a conspiracy, you know, mm. no, how, you know how conspiracy yeah, goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the question is the conversation people were having or the question that was being asked is, should he have gone to jail for, you know, for what he did essentially? Like he's not hurt but nobody. What, what, did he do? what did he do? It's, I think they so were trying, he only went to jail for conspiracy. Because conspiracy can be... They were, so basically, you know what I mean, is somebody was meant to be killed, you know what I mean? The person didn't end up being killed and he got done on a conspiracy for it, yeah. essentially. So yeah, Marvin... What, 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 what part did he play? Just okay, just probably. play what I sent you and then we can answer the question after. So bear in mind... Uh, on again. On WhatsApp. Okay. So, you know what I mean, this is... So listen to this mm. and then we'll discuss... No problem. Mm. After. Nigga, you gonna play it? Oh, keep quiet, man. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm pissed. I didn't get to complete that mission. We're crying that loud, I was just disgraced. From the moving souls, out of this living blood. Why did you intervene in that drew? I put the as a lot out of this window from prison. That would have been the glorious kill. Now I'm just left with a sinking vision. I'm upset. I didn't get to take their lives as soon as the opening gates. I'm going straight back just to put their soul on my knife. I got not finish what started, knowing it's safe. I came in, full hearted, put beer in the brave days, putting an outbreak and violent crime. The city's speaking, same man doing the good. It's the same man that's causing all these horrific violence. Fair's going door to door, giving the residents knocks. There's a dangerous man. See that? He just sounds like you're trying to catch a nut, bruv. Like, kind of like I'm not even playing on the pod. <laughs> bro, I'm cutting that out, Because this brother, the way you're singing <laughs> that, you must know some people that are still on the outside. Crazy. They'll do the same thing. I'm not involved. What? what are you talking about? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me look. Let me. Like, no, I, I no, just no, believe you. If, no, you're, if you're smart enough to write bars, you should be smart enough to write bars in a certain way where you don't at least incriminate yourself. Bro. But with drill, Do you bro. think he cares? You know, no, but that's stupid, though. Like, how can you not, like... Come on, though, man. Yo. But with drill, these men want you to know. He, he sound like he was getting a boner while I say the lyrics as well. Oh. I was like, what? Because literally, bro, that's crazy. Because I saw the... You know when you look at the question? Look at the question at the top. You know, man's like, the man should man, yeah, da, da, da. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, huh. And then you hear it and you're like... Yeah, I hope you should have got longer. <laughs> Wait, how long did he get? 27 years. 24. Uh, how old is he? I don't know. He's in the 20s. He should have got longer, bro. Pissed, bro. You know what you Because remember, there's bro, no remorse. Mad, bro. When, 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 a man gets, when, when, get back, when a man gets back, he's in court, he's like, you know what? Yeah. Did you read a statement? Do you know what? Obviously, what I've done was bad. I've seen the error of my ways, whatever. This nigga's still saying, but I, I, I should have caught them. And, yeah. and he's saying that from the can. Yeah. 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 Wait, do you say he can't wait to get out so he yep. can put stuff on his knife? Yep. What, in 20 mad, years, bro? Mad. Yes. Nah, that is crazy. bro, listen, man. Uh, as I Why said, are we so violent? I don't understand, man. We, I come, from, listen, we come from kings and queens, I know, bro. I don't know what camera's running. Man, I'm about man peace and love. <laughs> Personally, what? I'm about peace and love, people. What? I don't know about nothing, Shit. about nothing, about nothing. Bro, I think it's the enough. GM food, you know. It must be, right, bro. You know the maddest thing? Why we eat the same shit, brother? But you know what's mad when you think about this whole violence thing? Because when you, when you break it down, like... We're not actually, we are violent people. We're not yeah. actually violent people. We it's not our nature, people, bro. bro. We're not, it's not we our nature. We are violent people. We're not. There's but a I war going on right now. I just think we need hugs, There's bro. multiple wars <laughs> going on right now. What are you talking about, bro? Where? We are, vi- 
What? Where? Yeah. Oh, shut up, man. There's multiple wars Brother, going on right listen, now. Break it down for me, please. We what are violent it? people. Where? Okay, look, let me give you an example here. Let me yeah. give you an example of, of how bad we are. I'll trump your argument. On the one outside, thing. if you're on the outside looking in of the human race here, you're going to say, why do these people treat each other so badly? Like, they're all human. Okay, cool. There might be different shades, different colors, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But why do they treat you each know other so you know badly? Do you know what you're doing? You're doing. Oh, my God. No, no, seriously. Let me educate you on something. What you're trying to do here is you're perpetuating what the media tells you. The media? Yeah, once, let, me, let me break it down for you. Now, in terms of black people in general, yes, in terms of conflict within the UK and whatever, when black people do have conflict, it can be ultra violent. Yes, cool. But as a people, we are not violent. Because once and once, when you go to Nigeria, for example, or you go to South African countries, bro, most black people you see are calm. There's, there's no violence over there like that. There, there, there are problems, but it's not violent. Like, if that's the case, then the same violence that you see here from black people in America, you'll be perpetuated within... Broski. And also, you're looking at people like... I don't really want to take it there, but the British Empire, when they're going all over the world, bro. <laughs> Colonialism. And, and they are fucked up. Hey. The, brother, the, the whole world. I weren't talking about Atlantic black people. Slave I trade. said humans. Uh, um, Belgi- Bel- um, King Leopold in yeah. Belgium. Yeah. 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 Chopping up people's arms. Yeah, allow me. So when you I'm say, not talking talk, about black people, so bro. From, from Nazi Germany to the, from Napoleon. Yeah. Yeah. But allow me, bro. I'm not talking about black people. I said humans. I said humans. If you're on the outside, if you're talking about black people. No, I didn't say black people. Hold on, we were talking about black people. When you root, when you watch this crack, you're talking about black people. Shut up. When people say, I said humans. You are a sicko. When you go back, you are a sicko. You're going to hear what I'm saying. You are a sicko. The point I'm making is this. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. If you're on the outside looking in on the human race, you see each other badly. As we as as we sit here right now, <laughs> as we sit here right now, there's multiple wars going on, bro. There's no reason for the way we treat each other. There's not. What are you talking about, Marvin? There's Marvin, not. Marvin, 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 human race. It's true though, bro. Marvin, Spread love. The that's world. the Brooklyn way. <laughs> Making a better bro, I'm, place I'm, I'm, for like, you <laughs> and for me and the entire human race. Are you better dog? Bro. So, Marvin, you better dog. Marvin, if you care you were speaking about living, you were speaking about black people. Make a better I was speaking about humans. For you and I'm for saying, me. Let me. This is you. why aliens don't fuck with us, bro. Don't let Brent come here. Let him be here. Let him be yeah, Marvin, they've been here. They've been here. Let me. Here. You know when we talk about violence and stuff like that, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to disagree with that one because where we come from, you know what I mean. And I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna, wait, I'm gonna hit you with some statistics. Cross school. Cross school. School. Not, it's not even about schooling. No school. yeah, it's not even about schooling. I'm gonna give you some statistics. But uh, wait, wait, wait. USA I'm, was founded on what? Slavery. Yeah, whatever, you know what I mean. Whatever. Slavery. But Marvin, it but that's, not, no, Marvin no, no. Marvin 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 slavery, that's not just black people. That's Marvin, indigenous I'm, Indians. Marvin, it that's was my whole point. Marvin, yeah, but who you, was doing the madness over no, there? No, but I weren't speaking about just black people. For me, Marvin, about humans, chicken, humans, bro. For me, it's that's not chicken like it. Wait, wait, wait. The conversation now isn't even who's more violent or whatever. You said we're just not violent. You know what I mean? Inherently, not as a people. I don't think as a people. Okay, cool. So, um, so the population of the UK. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is 67.3 million. Yeah. Right? Um, this is 2021 statistics, by no, the way. But this, this wait, is, wait, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. This is black people here. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. This is so 67 million people in the UK, mm-hmm. right? Uh, 59.9 million people yeah. in South Africa. Yeah. Right? Statistics. So, the, in you know, the statistics for homicides yeah. in the UK, right? Um, In 2022, was it? Yeah, for okay, in the basically June 2023. By June, so it's for a whole year. Those statistics, there were 602 homicides offenses yeah. over a 12 month period, yeah. right? In this country, so black, white, whatever, collectively, yeah, yeah. there were 602 homicides, yeah. right? So in South Africa, within a three month time span. But brother, you're, wait, you're, wait, wait, you're wait, wait. That don't make no sense. Wait, you're wait. picking SA, that's one of the most. Marvin, De- Marvin. Dangerous country in the whole Marvin, world. I, it's just fine. They will rape you. Marvin, Marvin, no. Marvin. Wait, 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 wait. You hear me out. You know what I mean? So how many do you think, in a three-month span, right? How many murders do you think there were? Bro, murders that, and that rape? country's a madness, 100. bro. Huh? More than 100, actually. Say more than Three months span. So this, 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 rapes and murders. How many? This, this wait, 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 wait. Why can't it Marvin, run? Marvin, wait, wait, wait. Um, we will get to the we're conversation. Talking about, we're talking about violence. He's picked S.A., which is one of the worst countries, like, the murder capital. Apartheid the murder cap- institutionalized bro, their mental state. Bro, is all, you, can't yeah, pick, you, you can't just pick a country out of the blue. To, cause, uh, that's what I mean, said, all right then, pick, um, pick Ghana. Pick, pick, pick Ghana. Pick, pick Ghana, we're good. For, for your thing, pick yeah. Ghana. Egg, egg and hugs. Pick Ghana. Pick, pick, <laughs> or, 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 no or, dogs, or, no or, dogs. Or, 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 pick, or pick Barbados. 
or pick Aruba. No, no, you just pick you, you pick the worst Marvin, country in the Marvin, world. You said inherently black people are not violent. We're not, but you pick. But all right, let me get it straight. Marvin, black, black people. Are, wait, wait. It's in the continent of Africa, you've picked one country at the bottom, and you're and you're using your findings of that. I picked the one got, you've from. Got, you've got South Kenya, fucked. Uganda, you've got Nigeria, Ghana, Mali. Is your country Gabon. violent? You, you got 56 countries in, in Africa, bro. Good, you picked one. And to use results. Do you know what it is? That's like a girl saying to you, uh, um, Nigerian men are this, this, that. Like, cool. Uh, well, Nigerian men in Tottenham are... <laughs> brother, you're killing me. Bro. You're listen, picking Nigerian men in Tottenham, bro. Uh, listen, I see what Keith's trying to do, but so, my argument still stands. Bro. No, no. Okay, Marvin. You know, you know what I mean? So, okay. Let's, yeah. you know what I mean? Cool. So... He's doing a deep dive now. So, He's going to pick Sudan or Ethiopia or one of them ones. You know what I mean? So war. literally like... Somalia. Yeah. Yeah. So homicide rates, you know what I mean? By countries. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'll pick the... I'll name, you know what I mean? I'll say, let's say the top 20. Mm-hmm. Wait, before wait, you wait, do wait, that, wait, is wait, it wait, pre-colonization or now, after being colonized? Now, obviously it's going to be after difference. colonized. Well, it's, so it's so the white man, bro. It's the white man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People did not... <laughs> cool. So for context, the yeah. number that I was going to say for South mm. Africa for rapes and mm. murders within a three-month period was mm. 7,000. Jesus. 7,000? Jesus. You know I mean? Brother. 7,000 no, in but, three months. That's not 12 months. But, but you know in South Africa, people months. get HIV on purpose because the government will look after them. I spoke to some South African people. That is crazy. Yeah, some people get HIV on... That's they did it for the meds to cook drugs. Um, what, so they do it for the what? Med- medication because they used to cook drugs with them. So they'll get HIV on purpose? My Jesus my. Christ. But let me give you a list. So El Salvador's number one. Okay. Jamaica's number two. For what? Violence. Big up the yard, man. Murder. Mad. Lesotho is number three. Where's that? Uh, like near South Africa. Okay. Honduras is number four. Yeah, all the Colombia men, isn't it? Belize is number five. Belize yeah. Is Shampoo, Cocaine. Shampoo. Cocaine. Venezuela's number six. Mm-hmm. St. Vincent and the Grainer Deans is number seven. Bruv, I saw all they have is like <laughs> soca music, bruv. What, what? South like... Africa is number eight. St. <laughs> Kitts and Nevis is number nine. West Indies moving mm-hmm. wicked. Nigeria. Yeah, <laughs> they might, they might just shake bear hits, bruv. Bear they might go Nigeria bear Nigeria is number ten. Yeah, so Bahamas is somewhere. number eleven. No, what, no, what, hold on. Trinidad and Tobago <laughs> is number twelve. Do me a favor. This, this, this poll. What is it? What's it? What's it? What's it, what's it, what's it say at the beginning at the top? A murder rate by Whoa, country. Whoa, that's a pause. Was it said at the beginning? Homicide no, rate. No, this it? It's homicide rate. Yeah, you got you, you got you, you got you. You might as well do the soundboard for yourself. <laughs> so I mean. Bye, 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 bye. It's homicide rate, but you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Basically, homicide global rate. homicide rates. Murder rate by country. So wait, and America's not in there? That's no, but per country, like per 100 Christ. people, it's in Man's, comparison to the Man's, population. All the Caribbean people are shaking hips and slapping I can't lie to you. This, this, this thing here... You, so you think it's higgy? But they need to check this thing. No, I'll send you like that. I'll send you like that. Because America alone, when we spoke on the podcast last time and mm. we talked talk about serial killers, mm. America's had 3,204 serial killers. That is crazy. The country in second place was on that 90. Wait, can but we just say serial killers and murderers? I think it's the so, food, so, so, bro. So, so, it's for, GM, so, so forget bro. serial killers. You've just got men that are just getting killed Yeah, but killed it's semantics, though, isn't it? If you're talking about serial killers and homicides. Yeah, because the top 10 countries with the, you know what I mean, highest murder rate per 100k people, El Salvador, Jamaica, Lesotho, Honduras, Belize, Venezuela, St. Vincent, South Africa, St. Kitts, and All Nigeria. Black countries. I can't lie, I don't believe that, bro. Yeah, That's and the countries, countries 10 countries with the lowest murder rate per 100K, San Marino, Monaco, Andorra, <laughs> Isle of Man, Singapore, Japan, Senegal, Oman, Luxembourg, and Qatar. The only problem also, the rich people playing no, this. No, the only problem with that is garbage because Isle of Man... No one's there. No one's there. <laughs> It's fucking four people. <laughs> and there's, what's the other and country? If they're get a burglary, bro. They're killing nobody. They're, they're, they're upset, bro. San Marino, <laughs> Lauvi. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I was thinking of San Marino. There's, 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 yeah. there's about 40 people in San Marino. And there's another one you said. And like, then 40 people ain't killing each other. And Monaco they, as well. If they were violent, then everyone's 40 people in Monaco. Monaco. Monaco's technically in France, bro. Yeah, everyone's bullying. It's well finished. It's you're money. It just shows money. It's just like, it's rich people there. Mm. But all I'm saying is, trust me, there's, you know, there's, yeah, this is it, you know we nah. can speak of, you know, violence do, do, being not violent or whatever. No, nah, no, nah, do you know what it is? Yeah, in terms of this whole conversation, I hate this word, but it, it applies. There's a nuance to what we're saying. It's true, bro, because as you, as you were saying before, in terms of there's reasons as to certain things. Like, for example, I, 
But, you know, we can get into the reasons, but you know what I mean? We can also say like, if, you know what I mean? That, the conversation was, you know what I mean? These people are not violent. You know what I mean? Mm. We've ascertained that they are. If we want to get- these people? Like we're talking about black people. You were saying black no, people- I, I, As a whole. I don't as a whole. Think, I, I don't that, think, I don't that's think, fine. You know what I mean? The no, statistics say otherwise. No, black, I love black, my people as black people. No, we cannot black, run black, away black, from black, the stats. No, black people- Bro, you can't throw the numbers safe. It's the white man. Black people know that. Hold on. Let me get this straight. So you're telling me black people do not have the capacity for violence. Why? I didn't say that. I said black people are not naturally violent. What does that mean? mean? I, I, I didn't say we don't have every, everyone in life. If you know, if you talk know about the Bible, Adam and Eve, whatever, and temptation, sin, whatever, everyone has the capacity for evil, capacity for bad. But generally speaking, black people are not. What are you trying to say is that? Eve, uh, um, what does aggressive. that even mean? We were chilled. We're chilled people. The butt fucking. So Basically, you're telling me that's what Zulu to say. and all of those people before the white people came, we were just chilling. Adam no, do you know? The, no, no, the, no, the, the problem is, no, the problem you're doing. You're doing this whole. <laughs> that's extreme. the story. I'm <laughs> no, no, it's not, it's not, no, it's not even that. You're I'm doing, you're, picking fruit of the tree. No, what keeps doing? Keeps doing extremes. I'm not saying that there wasn't wars fought for land and mm-hmm. turf and whatever. That's mm-hmm. that's that's what happens. You know what I'm saying, but I'm saying generally speaking, we're calm. No, no, not that we're calm, but it's like things were done because. Of you looking after this, or I'm taking care of this, or I'm trying to. You, you want to take over my land? No, you can't. Mm. We're gonna beef over that. But generally speaking, but when you look at like some of the stuff that the West has done, it's like, bro, you had it already. Mm. Like some of the stuff you've done, like you, like you had Congo already. Mm. The stuff you started doing to the people while you were there is beyond what, what, bro. You had it. So all that you're saying is, you know, what I mean, you know, you know, you're saying there was a means to an end at that time. And you know, white people like they have their means to their end. And what you're saying is your means to an end is more justifiable than theirs. No, I didn't say that. I don't know what words you're trying to put in anyone's mouth. I didn't say that. What I'm gonna say to you is this here. For example, if if I wanna rob, if I wanna rob King now, yeah, uh-huh. I can rob King in it. Uh-huh. As in, no, no, so if I want King's tire, I can uh-huh. all right, cool. Just take, yank it. Take off the tire. Yeah, yeah. The moment King gives me the tire, it's that's done. what I wanted, right? Mm. But he's saying you're gonna but, extra. But mark. for me now to say, you know what, King, you can lose that leg. Mm. Bang. You know what, yeah? Let me lose the eye. Mm. But that's that's beyond that. That's No, I hear that. Do you know what I'm saying? So the robbing him wasn't bad. Long you, 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 know, you, you, you know what I'm saying? No, but that's so, why I said the human race is violent. I didn't say black people. You were speaking about but, black but, people. But, but, I was speaking about human race. What I'm just saying to you is the examples over time, mm. like when you look at history books and whatever, mm. and the level of violence, mm. perp- um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm going to say per- Perpet- perpetuate. That's my dis- cup. Come on. You're dyslexic. You're a liar. You just want to computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By certain races, mm. it's not... It's, it's no, not, at it's one not, point in time, equal, at, one point in time at one point in time, we were peaceful, but then it kicked in. 100%. Right. But what time is Cheek, that? Cheeks clapping. But my thing is, you know what I mean? For me, it's this... And I always feel like, you know, sometimes when... For me, the conversation around, you know, where people will say, you know what I mean? You know, Africans or black people were like this before the white man came mm. and so on and so on. For me, I feel like it's one of the most insulting conversations for us is because we didn't have this agency. We needed white people to, mm. you know what I mean, to make us a certain way. Like we couldn't have been that way ourselves. So we're like, we're just so, you know what I mean, so, you think so? impressionable. You know what I mean? That we needed nah, the white please. man. One second, one second. One second. Nah, cool. So, you know what I mean? We're so impressionable that without the white man, we couldn't have been this way. You know what I mean? Where people okay. say before the white man came around, we weren't violent. We weren't this. We weren't that. Mm. We weren't da, da, da. But we were all of those things mm. because we had our conflicts and so on and so on. When I say when it comes to white people and certain things, there's, you know what I mean? There's a different level of this. Maybe this has happened and stuff like that. But bro, you know what I mean? We had agency before that. Mm. We lived a certain way and we could have been all of those things. We were, you know what I mean? Conquering and taking yeah, over we stuff are, we existed long before the white man. But, Keith, had that. Land. but Keith, I think, but what you don't understand is like what you're trying to say is I get what you're saying because in any land in general, you had conflicts, you had arguments, mm. you had things happening. Whether it was in America before um, the white settlers came, American Indians probably had beef. It was standard. Aborigines in, in Australia had mm. beef. It was standard. Do you know what I'm saying in terms of, and this is not saying it, like. Us as brethren, I've had an argument with Rich before. Mm. Like, doesn't mean I want to kill him. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Or do anything mad. But like, me and Rich, not always we're falling out, but there's issues. Me and Keith had arguments before. Mm. But at the end of the day, like, that's going to happen in general. But what I'm trying to say to you is, for example, I could just use Nigeria, for example. When the white people came to Nigeria, Nigeria's not even what it was called. That's no, one no, thing. We're called Nigeria. We weren't called Nigeria. Mm. It was just d- different, like, people in one land. And, mm. and the Yoruba people understood the Igbo people. The outer people understood, all right, you men up north, 
Mm. As long as you stay there, we're calm. Mm. The Iba people are like, we're here, Yoruba people. So that was it. When the British came and they um, changed the name and whatever, whatever, they wanted to implement power. So they knew that, you know, let's give the Alsa people the power because they're the ones that we can control the most. Mm. Then you got things like the Biafran War where, yeah. you're, I mean, Iba people are dying in millions. Do you know what mm. I'm saying? Where it got to the point where Iba people are like, oh, Yoruba people, you didn't back us. Mm. So now, like, even that, and then even when you look at documentaries, you have Alsa people saying, I would rather employ somebody white mm. for this position than somebody Yoruba or Ibo. Mm. If I can't get somebody white, then I might employ them, man. Mm. So you, you've now created a country where it's dog eat dog, literally crabs in a barrel that like, you, you've created genuine hate for one another mm. and we don't even realise why. Speak to, Manipulation, you, isn't it? Speak to Yoruba people now, for example, Ibo people or Alsa people. They don't even know they're doing it. Mm. A Yoruba person might be like, are oh, you want to marry uh, Ibo? They might be like, mm. Mm. because in, it's ingrained so, yeah, in you now. We're, we're kind of against Embedded. each other now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas before, not that we were against each other, but it was like, my granddad was Muslim, my grandma was Christian. Mm. Like, in Nigeria before, it was a bit like, certain things didn't matter. So I'm saying, I get what you're saying, Keith, but you got to look at things that have put in, been put in place in certain countries, even South Africa, where you've got black people that weren't allowed to even study. Mm. Mm. They had to study. The, the biggest qualification they could do was like a, a qualification in gardening. Like they couldn't study nothing because they knew that you you can't have knowledge. So if I can't have knowledge, I can't feed my family. So I'm at a level where I can't get above. So if we're all in this place together and we can't do nothing, mm. what's that going to create? It comes from. But you the, know our story. You know us as people. You know our story. Willie Lynch letters, huh? bro. The you know our Lynch story. Letters, how it, to control. But you know what my yeah, problem yeah. with this conversation is mm. is. You know, but the insinuation that, you know, I mean, our, you know, our history begins with the white man. We had things going on before the white man. For me, I'll use Shaga Zulu. When I look at my culture and stuff like that, mm. Shaga was a conqueror. He would go from, you know what I mean, village to village, territory to territory, and he would conquer and he would kill and he would pillage and he would take over mm. because he wanted more. This is, you know what I mean, the British failed mm. to conquer him. When even, they came over him. So for him, bro, he was doing this long mm. before the white man was here. Even Halim so Selassie as well. He would he, go to people and be like, I'm going to show you how I'm going to win. So they don't even in, yeah. intervene in violence because he already long, told you. But yeah, this is I'm long winning. before the white man mm. has arrived. So for me, like, I hate conversations where it feels mm. like everything we do and everything about us is centered around uh, the white man did this. Bro, we were doing shit no, I, before the white man bro, came. I get what you're saying, no, yeah. there, there are things, bro, you're, the things the white man has done, yes. But we, bro, we have a history before the white man. No, no, we I have get things, 100%. There's violence before. 100%. There's lives, there's this, there's so mm. many things. There's, you know, there's the history where, you know what I mean, colonization has come over. Mm. And there's a long spate of things that come off mm. colonization. But like I'm saying, like for me, I feel like as a point of pride, we sometimes, bro, nigga, we was on no, 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 I get, no, no, I get that. No, I get that. But nigga, we can't, smoke can't, 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 here. can't things be amplified after certain yes, events happen? But happened. they were there. Exactly. That's, but my that's, thing is, that's, they that's, were there. No, but, so to say, but, but, you know what I mean? For us to say we are not inherently violent, we are. No, we're not. You, 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 so you're saying the white man made us this way? No, what I'm trying to say. But that's what you're saying. I No, yeah. Technically, they yes, help. Yes, yes, they help. They help. Wait, why is no one blaming Joe for food? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> that, no but that's, that's why I say they amplify because obviously, again, even in India, the, the, the whole partition, like, remember, different parts of India broke up. Uh, yeah, sepoys. Just what I'm saying. That, so the, remember, the, the white man went over there and and exact same thing they done West in India in, Company. What size? Exact same thing they done in Africa. They might have went to a man and said, "Yeah, we'll give you the power because we can control you X, Y, Z." But then you don't like them. And look, they they had their dramas. Now nah, Indians broke up. So my <laughs> thing is this: Oh, the Dutch, or the Dutch East India Company. My, yeah, and my, the West India. My, my in, thing is in this: Okay, cool. Well. We might have had some history before the white man got there, but when the white man got there, they amplified stuff. And now years down the line. And, and also, and the, amplifying and, and, stuff means, you know what I mean? You make it worse, you make it, but it exists. No, not, not to that degree. My thing is this, Keith. Um, in terms of the white people as well, what they brought in, they brought like a different kind of structure of like, fuck shit up. Like, as mm. in like, for example, black people just want to, I'm going to war you, innit? Mm. As in like, this is a war. Mm. Whoever, best man wins, I'm That's taking it. everything. Mm. My, life, my, my people are more important than your people. Cool. But white people on the vibe of strip your dignity, you know what? Your soul, divide and conquer this. Shit. We're gonna make yeah. you but, just like us. Yeah. It's, not, it's not even House that. Nigger. Remember colonization. Feel no, nigger. Not, no there, there is that. But I'm saying, for, for example, little things like even civil wars mm. in countries, as in like, all right, cool. Your government doesn't want to work with us. Cool. We're just gonna pay them. We're gonna give the militia 
some money. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah Arms, yeah. whatever. You man fight, do what you're doing. Yeah, that, when you get control, that's, that's you're back now, in the country. That happens all the time. It's still happening long before white people. A civil war is, you know what I mean, you have a group of people that have a disagreement and then we have a fight amongst us. You know what I mean? Where, you know what I mean? Some people believe this, some other oh, people yeah, believe that, yeah. and we will fight until, you know what I mean, the, whichever I, side Keith, wins. But the difference with Shaka you're talking about, Shaka Zulu weren't trying to hide what he was doing. Brother, so, so no, you no, know, like, bro, he, was, he was pillaging, he was killing. You're not getting what I'm saying. Marvin, you're saying, bro, Shaka we're Zulu talking about violence. The but West are not doing, the West are not doing it with their chest. The West are doing it like on a creepy thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. We ain't done nothing, bro. But oh, you, they're you, not you, killing. You, 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 you use lot. I don't know what I don't know what you're seeing in your head. We ain't done shit. Mm. Oh, yeah, make the call. Um, yeah, get to that <laughs> five <laughs> four, three, seven. Full but of my thing is, but is there not killing be done? So you're telling me, bro. You're telling me it's different. Where you know what I mean? You're like it's a means to an end. You know what I mean? Where in terms of think about it, mm. when when conquering was being done. We come into, you know what I mean, like we're taking over whatever, we're gonna kill, you know what I mean, we're gonna kill the men, essentially, or you know what I mean, or children or men, you know what I mean, of any age, that could be a problem essentially. We'll take over the women and stuff like that. Yeah, You're saying, but now we're saying, but nah, the way we were doing it. I didn't wild, say wild I, like I, that. I never I never said that. I, I'm talking about the degree of what was done. So for example, <laughs> if I if I come in this two, for example, if I, if you've got two brothers, uh, for example, you can have someone who shoots one person, then you've got a school shooter. Mm. Who's worse? But then it goes back to the Bible. Sin is a sin. We no, can't I, no, measure I hear it, that, but, I'm just, but that's what I'm trying to say to you when we talk about violence. Mm. That's like someone saying those people, they're both violent. Wait, like, wait, yeah, wait. But who's more what, violent? What, what was the, the, the school shoot or who? I'm just saying, for example, if I just come in and I shoot at you, man, for mm-hmm. example, mm-hmm. hopefully I'm hoping I'll hit you one of you, but I don't. Mm-hmm. you got someone who goes to the school and shoots, that like, kills 30 people. Yeah, I'm gonna say the school. And that's like someone well. saying, yeah, but means to end, both of them want to do the same. No. I understand. But there's context. But those 30 people could you know, have done no, something. But, 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 so but, we're now saying because the other motherfucker because he wasn't good enough to no, hit no, no one. No, but that's my point in terms of the context. <laughs> His aim was terrible. <laughs> that, but that's my point in terms of the he context in terms of what we're talking about. That that's the whole thing we're trying to say, Keith. The context in terms of, yes, we're not saying black people haven't been violent. Because for example, even if you're using Shaka Zulu, for example, that's one dude. That's like Genghis Khan, for example, was one dude. Mm. He he um controlled an army. Yeah. Mm. What he said went. So it's just like these men might not have done it if he didn't say it. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So Shagazulu's that's one man. That's like Hitler, for example, in Germany. Mm. I don't know if all the Germans would have been on it, Mm-mm. but it was timing. It was but, the right but, time. but they might have said, do it. You have to do it. Even mm. in the army in, in the UK mm. in or Iraq, you get sometimes where the like certain men are saying, go in there. Man don't want to go in there. They got, they got go. But I've got a direct order. That I, ha- that I have to, and you've had soldiers afterwards saying, I knew what I was doing was wrong. Mm-hmm. But I yeah, could not seen, do it yeah. because. Mutiny, yeah, yeah. Like, seen that, seen that. Seen that. I, mutiny. Like mutiny and um, I, I, I can get court martialed. Yeah. So I have to do it. Mm-hmm. That's, like, so, that's like someone saying, all right, all right, cool. But I'm just saying that in general, if you tally this, that record, machine for machine, if you, nine if, for nine, AK for glass. If you, if you, if, 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 do you know what that, that's like saying, Keith? I'll give you the same. In, in, in football terms, that's like saying everyone's trying to win the league. Mm. Cool, but Man City, Liverpool, uh, no, no, Liverpool, mm. United have mm. got way more titles than everyone else. Mm. Mm. Arsenal, nowhere near. Chelsea, nowhere near. Mm. That's like someone saying, "Yeah, it's, it's not the same." But there's men who play Sunday league football, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Where you can sit there and say they may not be playing league games and stuff like that, but they probably play more games every week than some of these men it's in the, the Prem. Wait, the wait, wait, wait. Though. It's not the same level, but niggas are out there scoring goals. It's not the same level, bro. They're scoring goals. You're playing against the keeper. I hear, I hear you. The, I got the, 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 the keeper. Niggas are scoring the goals. The keeper curve and jump. Yeah. There's no there's no proper lines kick, but, but, <laughs> but, but the, 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 the aim the is gra- half a kick. Bro, the, the grass is the ground is uneven. But goals are being scored. Like doesn't work like that. Key. It doesn't work like that. Key. Brother, you know what I mean? No, no, I mean, when, your point, when it comes to killing like and stuff like that, you know what I mean? There's, a kill is a kill. A kill is a kill. You know what I mean? And this is it. You know? Uh, is, is that the case? Let's look at the level then. So, all right, so, King Leo, all right, put King Leopold in this by himself. Yeah. He's won. Yeah, no, mm. I, that's one you know, man. But my thing is, twenty three million Africans. You know what I'm saying? Twenty three million Africans. But they never speak about him. Bro, see, this is the thing. For me today, you know, what I mean? we'll we'll have this conversation mm. properly. 
They, I'm not having no comparison. I'm not saying this person is this. The, mm. You know, the conversation we're having, saying, yeah, we ain't yeah, moving violent. the needle today. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the not, conversation yeah. we had. Who not, moves the needle? Bro, I'm not, bro. I'm not here to. Uh, have, you were speaking about black people. I'm not having. I'm not having. You were speaking about black people. I was speaking about the human race. Oh fuck off! It's true. It's true. The human race is everyone, bro. You said black people. I said the human race. It's true. That's why you stepped in. That's what I'm saying, bro. I am not quarreling. I can't wait for you to listen to this back. I'm not having, I, for me, my, my conversation or whatever, for me, we didn't get, for me, like, it wasn't about comparison. For mm. me, it wasn't about who's worse, who's mm. this, who's mm. done this, exactly. who's done this. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. My, yeah, that's what, but I'm saying, my, you know, that, if you're doing that, you're having a different conversation okay, from what cool, I was having. Cool. I was saying to you that, you know, you said black people are not inherently right. violent, and I mm. said they are. I yeah. said, for me, I feel like, as a black person, it mm. is, especially the way we speak of White people essentially. Black people come over here and say, "We taught white people this. We taught white people this. White people didn't know none of these things mm. before they came around us." And then you're just gonna let them just, you know, just run rings around One you. And your niggas are private two fifths fifths of the bro, world. You're telling these One people that island. we taught you two niggas fifths how to. Of the world. And sometimes when we, as black people, when we speak of white people, I'm like, you guys speak about, you know, we taught them how to read. We mm. taught them how to shower. And you let these motherfuckers run rings around yeah. you. You let these cave dwellers I'm you speak of come island. out of here I'm and run rings around you. I'm not even saying that. No, I'm not saying you. I'm just no, saying, but I'm speaking about black when, people in general. When, when, when these men came, say we was kings. No, nah, when, when these niggas came and took everything against when these, man, when, these, when these men came with the gun, it was done. <laughs> <And> Super Bowl. <laughs> Man, when, gay man shot and Spears. super oh, no, when, 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 they, when, they, when they got off the thing and they shot the first African on the beach, yeah. bow, everyone said, you see this? <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but these it's men are happening. wicked. Yeah. But a man threw a, fi- man threw a fear, <laughs> yeah. missed this. Man threw a bow. Man said, what is this? <laughs> man threw a sword in that and missed <laughs> No, nah, listen, I, uh, there's there's a few different arguments here. Obviously, you're speaking about black people. Uh, Keith's got the no, pushback. I, I do know it's better. Uh, do you know what Keith's saying? I get it. But mm. what I'm saying, do you know what it is? I feel like Keith's saying black people are violent. Mm. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think... Do we, the reason why I'm saying it is because because I travel a lot as well, yeah? Mm. And I see black people in all different countries, yeah? Mm. And I realise that, like, Britain is a very bad country. Yeah. Like, no one says, like... like if I see you, I don't, say, I don't say hello to you. Mm. Whereas any, most country you go to, if I go to Nigeria now, for mm. example, most black people that see me will say, hello. Hello. How you doing? Afa. Yeah. Mm. Afa. Kids are saying mm. hello. Like they will pass you say hello. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. When I go to Dubai, for example, all the black people call. Cool. Other countries that I go to and I see black people, like I'm not saying black people don't have issues, mm. but it's like a lot of the countries that do have issues have like, not, not ghettos, but it's kind of like there's areas that like, mm. and influences within that area. For example, even like if you look at certain rap songs, yeah, the same way we're speaking about is like the same black people that are promoting these songs, they're not living this life. Mm. They're not evil people. They're not bad people, Mm -hmm. but they're being influenced by something or they they think it's cool to listen to this music and perpetuate this stereotype even though they're not living it. So it's weird. It's like, Everyone loves the badness, but they're not bad. Yeah. So, it, so everyone's not bad. Like everyone's not doing yeah, it. Yeah, not everyone's not bad. Because if that's, if that's the case, then like that bear man, like bear man will be doing mm. it. Like or, or taking part in it to some degree. But, A lot of men are not. But if the statistics are saying we have here killing. You're not get no, you're not get what I'm saying. Sisters can say they the were niggas out are smiling at you, bro, but them numbers are saying these niggas is actually killing. You know, I don't think you're getting what I'm saying. Because Marvin, man, are waving at you, Marvin, and they're going, the chef someone Because <laughs> you're saying you're abroad, the man is smiling at you, and then going over to you, you know what I mean? <laughs> you go do a chef in. I said, I done my court assistant. You might get what I'm saying. Keep just being dumb. Man. I'm not being dumb, Marvin. Dumb, the yeah. numbers, I told you, like, when we said it, you know what I mean? I brought up some statistics earlier, from and you were like, are oh, you picking? SA, bro. Brother, is that, that not a... The, that wasn't just SA, though. No, the that's first what, one he went with. The first one. Worst I, no, first ever, like, I picked SA, you know what I mean? And you were like, SA. And then I pulled out a list, you know what I mean? And even then, I was like, bro, the numbers say what they say. We can get yeah. into uh, why. You know when we speak of nuance, yeah, yeah. we can get into the whys. Cool, cool. That's, but like I'm saying, but, we cannot say these what, men are not out here doing a shepherd. That's what me and King are saying, though. That... The why is the important man part. Man drag mm. you in this way. No, no, no. King is like, yeah, drag me. No, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I did. King is over there sipping his coke, bro. And also, do you, know, do you know what's sick as well, yeah? All right, the, the top 10 countries and the top bottom countries, I guarantee you the top bottom countries haven't been... Um, colonized. Colonized. Can I ask you yeah, that? that, that that's that's important. That's yeah. important. That is important. The, 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 Can I ask you? The, 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 the top. Because um, they ain't got shit. That's my point. So, Can I ask you a real question? So, 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 so
Even you talk about for this. white people around in Monaco, I, you know what I mean? They weren't doing the shit things in Monaco. Yeah. But no, but, but yes. Keith, that, that's my point. Is in like in terms so of. So can I ask you guys a question? We always say that the savior to us black people is the black family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, these people who are doing the killings are probably some of them are married, probably got families and all that. So now the question is, what is really our savior to our non-violent um, behavior? Just us being normal people, because we always say, oh, the black family will keep us together. Mum and dad and kids and all I that. But us, these you know, countries, me, they have mum and dad and kids. I think it's environment. In, I think, you know what I mean? We can't me, change that though. But my thing is, That's as human beings, like... So we're fucked from no, now to me, ever. It, nah. For me, it goes back to what Rich was saying is, as human beings, we are inherently violent. Mm. That's what human beings do. You know what I mean? Inherently, as human beings, bro, it is human nature to want, you know, enough for you or more. For you. I don't know wait, if wait, humans wait, wait. are inherently that's just, violent. That's just Keith. No, no, literally. Human I don't think beings inherently is literally violent. Bro, we're violent, bro. No, may, maybe. I, so, I saw a statistic. So, how about a baby yeah? killing a bug? But some babies won't kill a bug. Is, My baby, Lord, if a baby sees a that, bug, they will just yeah, switch. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but that's not. That's not that, the babies don't know what they're doing. Marv, Marv. Uh, listen. So if I'm older and I'm shooting 20 people, I'd be like, I don't know what, what I'm doing. No, but that's, that's different because you have reasoning and you've grown up. You know what you're saying. What I'm trying to say to you, I feel like. I don't think we're in, I don't think humans are inherently violent. I think humans have the capacity to sin. I don't think I don't think because the thing the, the term violent is a very key word because I don't think yeah, everyone's inherently we'll violent, bro. I saw a statistic. <laughs> no, not everyone. Like Let's, when we talk about humans, that's what I'm saying. You you know, say, so but, what happens? Like humans are inherently violent. That doesn't mean every human is violent. violent. You know what I mean? And with us having an you know what I mean, and sometimes it doesn't mean you will exercise that ability that you have to be violent. And now, and a lot of people do not exercise it because of consequences in where they live. You know what I mean? You find that when you go to certain countries, you find that countries where it's easier to get away Mm. with a lot of things, you know what I mean? There's more violence happening and so on and things. When you look at South Africa, if you look at South Africa compared to here, you're less likely to get away with Mm. a murder here than Mm. in South Africa. I feel like if the laws were similar here as they are in South Africa, the murder here would be probably close to what it's like over there. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like consequence is one of the things that keeps people from doing things. So people don't just not do things because they're good people. It's the consequences. You sit there as a person, you weigh up the pros and cons and you're like, in the UK where we live, you know what I mean? In the UK, it's one of the countries where, you know what I mean? If you do an M, there's a 90% chance you're going to do time for it. Mm. So you sit there and you think to yourself, mm, no. In South it. Africa, bro, you could do a madness and you know what I mean? It just goes under the radar. I'll give you an example. You see El Salvador, which was at the top of the list. The president of El Salvador, when he came in, the new guy came in or whatever, he took all the gang members, you know what I mean? Or anyone, even MS-13 tattoos, and he mm. built mega jails and he threw everyone in prison. Yeah. People were complaining about human rights violations or why are you doing this, 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 and this. The murder rate in the country went down within a space of, I think, three years. Went down by 57%. Crazy. No, but Keith, I get what you're saying, but... The reason I don't agree is, let me read this here. There's a few things I'll read. Are humans inherently aggressive? Humans are both naturally peaceful and violent, depending on their brain and their early childhood experiences. People who have negative early childhood experiences are more prone to be aggressive. Mm. So we're not all inherently it's violent. Development it's, de- it's, it's, de- it's development of what you've seen in your mm. environment. All right, there's another thing here that says, the word violence derives from an Indo-European root that refers to life. The natural instinct of violence is thus not a destructive instinct, much less a death instinct, but a natural life and survival instinct that corresponds to the instincts of self-preservation in um, Sigmund Freud's yeah, fight first or theory flight. of um, mm. instincts. And also it says aggression can be learned in the home, in the school, and from television programs. Children subjected over... What? Children subjected over extended periods to repeat frustration, rejection, and other adverse stimuli may eventually learn to strike back with aggression and perceive the world as a hostile place. So, so incels. I'm, so what I'm trying to say to you is that it's like when, when humans are not inherently violent, it's, it's a learned behavior over time in terms of whether in your environment it's glorified. So within the black community, violence is glorified in our music. Do you know what I'm saying? So for, that's why like you get people doing the whole bad man thing and they're not, mm. they're, you're not nothing, do you know what I'm saying? Or you, you've been in a household where it's a bit mad or airy where it's, even for example, us growing up, um, journey from your house to school was peak sometimes, brother. You never knew what was going to happen, like on the bus, um, walking home. Like so, even now, I guarantee you, you've, we've got learned behaviors from mm. them days where it's like if we see, if we, if we see someone walking, you might stop and wait for we, them to go. Or yeah, or we're gonna move, or like do you know what I'm saying, or someone says speaks to you, you're immediately on 
on guard. Like, what's, what's my answer? What? What? Let me... Let you, me. You, you reverse your car in as opposed mm. to... Do you know what I'm saying? Let me explain something to you. I remember reading a book, um, The Dhamma Lama, How to Find Peace in a Something Something World. And I remember... Because little boys on the mouth. Because you're dumb. I knew Keith was going to say that. I remember... I, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember is that your king? I remember... I remember, I remember, I remember we got to take something. what he says with a pinch of salt. I hear you. I hear you. I, but, no, but it was, if, it was, if your it was, point is support in mind, then we can scratch that. It was more about, it was more about <laughs> the, what the interview was saying. Um, and basically, Come. since 1945, there's been 26 days of peace in on Earth. Mm. That, that means everyone. Yeah. And the point I was making is that, again, you speaking about black people, you had the pushback. And my point is this. The human race is violent, bro. Like, 1945 was a long time ago. 26 days, that's less than a month. Yeah, yeah but the, the problem is, people say problem. The problem is, Richard, yeah, is this. There's so many people that have ulterior motives for what they want. Mm. And it gets to the point where they don't care who they hurt in their pursuit of these goals. Because remember, like, if you look at places like, all right, um, like somewhere like Congo, for example. Mm. Different. Congo is the most minimal rich country in the world. Mm. Like in terms of the amount of money they make per year, it's crazy like billions. But the countries that are benefiting from that, it's not Congo; it's not the Congo, other countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, the the so, Debinia family or something. So, so, yeah. so, so yeah. I'm saying, even in terms of um, the diamonds, when I done mm. the drunk history thing, and there was like the, this big diamond. I think, I think was it Prince Charles? Someone's got. Someone's think, got it on the on the crown. I, I think the Queen's got it. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. but that diamond was from. Um, not SA. Where was it? It was one of the Congo. I think it's Congo. Mm. There's one of them countries. But it's just like, like the, that's how the, the 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 beers company was like two brothers or something mm. like that. Yes. Yeah. And it's like so, 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 so. instead of like they were separate, but they were like, do you know what? We can do this together. We can eat together. Money, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Mm. So I'm like, a lot of the people making money out of these countries mm. are not from these countries. Mm. So when you see that, it's like, but they don't have to see it. For example, that's like me making money in. The buyer, I don't care what's going on over there. I don't care mm. how you're making it, but I'm getting it in the UK. Mm. So there's a lot of that going on. So the world in general, like, do you think someone can ring you and say, boy, you see that 1.2 billion you're making a year? They're trying to fight back over there and say you can't have it no more. Whatever you need to do, do it. For me to keep making that 1.2 mm. billion, I didn't see it. Yeah, whatever, them whatever, 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 yeah, whatever, that. whatever that's, you do, and you know what's was part of the problem, though. But you know what's scary? 100%, that's what I'm saying. What, what's scary for me? You see what you've just described. You see, for them, they don't see it. You know no. what I mean? You know what I mean? Out of sight, out of mind. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? It's easy to ignore shit. It's not happening. As long as it's not on the front of your doorstep. Which is why it's crazier for me that our leaders and people in Africa could do all of these things to us and still see it. For me, that makes you a worse person because you are there. You can see your people suffering. You, you can see. Happen, Let me show you something that I read the other day. They're not there. They're in Monaco, bruv. Watch the Formula no, no. One. <laughs> 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 but, bro, <laughs> let me, you know what I mean? Keep, you know what keep, keep, keep saying that. Man's yard is banging, <laughs> bro. Man's got Rolls Royce, whatever. There are more Nigerians in this room. Than any, the you know what I mean? Statistically, there's more Nigerians in here than anyone. So okay. we'll, we'll, we'll just run with that. I'm oh, from Ghana. So it's, you know 50%. I thought I was more egg. Ah, you're mad. <laughs> you're like, remember the last conversation? And I smell more more. It's fine. Don't so, worry. Run listen back. to this. Yeah. Nigerian <laughs> President Bola Tinubu's first supplementary budget yeah. when he was president, when he got signed in. What year, what year was he? This is when he came in. When did he come in? Last year or this year? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So they were like, his first supplementary budget includes a fleet of SUVs for himself and his wife. Jesus. A presidential yacht. And <laughs> renovation of his villa amid a yeah, cost we of don't, living crisis. Wait, we don't help the poorest well, people. For we don't himself help. and we don't his help. wife, so two people. Yes. He wants to look yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. That's, no, but that's lie. <laughs> No, but we don't that, help though. No, no, but the thing is, that, that, that's <laughs> lie. People are help, suffering. And One man thing took is, 800 Martin. million out of the country. No, but you know, you know what's mad, like? Do you One remember man. the time when, you know when Jordan, like, good luck Jonathan, was Crazy. in power, bro? Do you know in Nigeria, like, things were so bad at certain times where, you know the National Bank and whatever, where they were keeping money. Mm. You no know, people would come in with handwritten pieces of paper to come collect money out of the reserve. You know when we sit there, bro? Mad. Man, oh, my mother's like, that's not exaggeration. <laughs> yeah, we don't that's know. No, no, no. That's something saying. you can say. No, no, people no, were I... coming in, people in power <laughs> were coming in with handwritten no, no, but papers meant to, be to a check. withdraw no, but rich, money. Rich, no, but rich. You know what I mean? No, not but... even like, it's a paper with a letterhead where this is Nothing. state no, niggas handwritten but, 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 that were no, taking no, money. No, and they've not... seen their people, Marvin. You drive past these area boys starving. But the thing is, the difference is, yeah, that, yes, Nigeria do do that. I'm not saying they no, don't. no, I'm not, and it's not just Nigeria. No, no, it's across I, the board. I, cool, I just it, use that as an example, no, so I'm Afri not trying to single out Nigerians Afri Afri for anyone listening. African countries they do it in general, cool, mm. yeah. but they do it here. But the thing is, we, they, but they do it here in such a different way. They will tell you 32 billion has been spent on crossroads. Mm. You know what? We're not completing it. 
the money's gone. It's called white where, collar where, crime. Where has the 32 billion it's, gone? It's, it's called white collar crime. Yeah, yeah. When did they say? I, I swear, a, few, a, few years ago, a few years ago, they said they spent 160 mil on the roads. But do you where, know what, bro? But no, 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 do, no, no, do you know why it's where we come from? No, no, but that's different because different, no, but councils, no, no, the reason why it's different is because you can't see that one because councils get allocated a budget. Bro, so you how much potholes there are. One sec, one sec, one sec. That's always going to happen. But remember, that's why if you look at every, roughly around April, that's where you see bare old works because yeah, that's yeah, the end yeah. of the whatever. Yeah, and the tax but once they choose spend money once real they quick. Juice, when they do stuff like 32 billion for Crossrail, we're not gonna complete it. Or the C2C, whatever it is. Mm. Yeah. We're not completing it. We're gonna do it halfway. Where's the money gone? Or COVID mm. uh, government. One tests, man got five whatever. Mm. COVID. But do you know why? Do you know but, why they're taking the, different? And the thing is it disa- the money disappears, and you don't know where it goes. But do you know what the difference Greed. between their scam here and our scam home? Mm. Over here, bro, they gave us, you know what I mean, a decent enough quality of life that they could get away with. With anything, you where, say you know, that. Keith. Wait, 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 and I will say they gave us a decent enough quality of life where they can sneak certain things past. Back home, their leaders are like, "Your niggas are sleeping outside," well. <laughs> and that is it. And that's my problem. You know, like the way they do things, bro. You know, it's one of them ones where you're like, "Brother, you man, style it out." That's the problem. Back home, bro, there's no style in it. I'm like, bro, everywhere we go in the world, there is corruption, there is stealing. Our people, they're stealing. Is like. My nigga. No, no but like, Keith, Keith. Listen, but... wait, wait, let me let me listen listen to this, Marvin. You tell me that. Listen, look at this country that we live in, yeah? yeah? If this was to happen, you tell me how people would react in this country, right? Following the devaluation of the Malawi Kwacha, which is their currency, by 40, by 44% last month, Damn. and the resultant rise in the cost of living, Malawi President, Reverend Dr. Lazarus Chakwera, will be leading his country in a day of prayer on the on he Thursday. He said it's Lazarus, bruv. De- December, <laughs> Thursday, December. Reverend Lazarus. Bro, Marvin, you know what I mean? Imagine we're sitting here, bro, and Rishi Sunak was like, on the 7th of December, you know what I mean? We're all going to congregate. <laughs> Let's pray. <laughs> Brother, a man said, fuck them food banks, you know what I mean? We are coming together. You are going to fast. And we are praying. <laughs> but the matter, but this is result. Like, no, but, but this is, but for example, in Nigeria now, if I, if I buy a house in Nigeria, it's mine. Yeah. Bro, mm. it's done. Mm. Like, or for how ever. long? No, no it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Once you got the deed for the house, you know, in Ghana, they sell the deeds to six different people for yeah. one lad, bro. Yeah, but that's that's Ghana, bro. <laughs> so people, you, 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 Council tax, mm. then you're not playing this tax. All you need is a generator. That, but the, all you need in Nigeria is once you buy your car, it's yours. Mm. You got to pay for petrol, bro. You ain't got to pay road tax. You ain't got to so, pay. You get licked um, up by a car for days, you're finished. No, I hear that. But you ain't got to pay <laughs> this. You ain't got to pay. Like in this country, we pay so much, bro. Mm. To buy the, think about this. When the month hits you, and you get your paycheck, it goes then, when, then when you pay everything you have to pay, what's what's that, most people show? are like, Jesus. Let me give, let me no give you, wait, 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 wait. Bro, 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 let me give you context, right? So in Zimbabwe at the moment, take me out. The, yeah, biggest, take me out. Yeah. the biggest issue that a lot of people are having in Zimbabwe is the cost of certain things and so on. So we have the internet companies in Zimbabwe or whatever. So the average cost for having Wi-Fi in your home in Zimbabwe, I'd say is between two to 300 US dollars. Wow, yeah, for what a, year. What, a month? month for a month. Jesus. For the month. Jesus. For the month. Yeah, to have right. good Wi-Fi. Damn, yeah, that's that's no, no, literally. And so basically, you see Elon Musk, Elon Musk has Starlink. You know what I mean? So to get Starlink back home, you know what I mean? It would be about $52 a month in comparison to the 300 But they don't want the Starlink for many reasons. Once their company starts to lose money, because they're charging a madness. And the second is they can't turn off the internet when they want to. Because, you know, election time. Happens in Zimbabwe, happens in South yeah, Africa, yeah. happens in Nigeria. Turn when election internet. time comes, you know what I mean? And stuff is happening, they want to turn of it off at whim. When we have Starlink, up, when we have Starlink, they turn that off. Marvin, you know you're talking about houses where you're like back home, when you buy a house, it's yours. Yeah. So this is a new thing. So this just happened just the other day mm-hmm. and they're trying to push it through government in Zimbabwe. In a move that shows that the Zimbabwean economy has now collapsed, the government will now tax Zimbabweans and anyone else who owns houses in Zimbabwe 1% of the house's value. It means that if your house is worth um, four hundred thousand US dollars or more, you will pay. So if your house costs four hundred thousand, you will pay the state four thousand a year. Damn. It means that with immediate effect um, of that tax coming, it means with immediate effect of that tax coming in, rentals will also go up in Zimbabwe as property owners will simply pass on the tax to their tenants. Ten years of paying that tax for a person who owns one house worth four hundred thousand will <coughs> amount to forty thousand. That's US dollars, by the way, or even more, as the house 
value goes up. That's crazy. So service charge. Because remember, those are things. Out, yeah. people, 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 just remember, those are people just start leaving. Mm. But this is it. But that's my thing. You know what I mean? And over here, they do this thing. They do all of these things to us. And as crazy as it is, over here, you know what I mean? We have that basic living. Because think about it, bro. We complain about so many things over here, mm. right? But there's certain things we have in place where you're like, you know what I mean? As crazy as certain things get, there's, you know what I mean? A certain thing. Back home, bro, people, they, you know what I mean? Like, I see stuff they put in place, bro, when I'm like, in Zimbabwe, bro, the unemployment rate is 90 something percent. No, that's got this. No, no, do you know, but, bro, how is the unemployment no, but rate is, 90 yeah, but Keith, something? That yeah, means 90 something percent of the people have no gains. No, but, no, but, sugar yeah, daddy no, in that, Zimbabwe, that's bro. Got, no, I get, I get what you're saying, but even here, for example, like, you've got inheritance tax. So, for example, you can have a yard that you, that you've paid a mortgage for. Mm. You've paid way over the, what the house costs. You pass your, you pass on or whatever. You want to give it to your child. 40% in it or something. Yeah. But, uh, it's, are you all right? But so exactly. why, why am I paying tax again? I why, hear why, that. why am I paying tax on this house? Because technically speaking, if I have to pay tax on this house, I can't own it. I have to now sell it mm. to pay get you. Something. yeah. And what I get back, I can't even buy a house for this. But over here, if you're, you know what I mean? So you're kind of... But there's loopholes where we can put yeah, shit in trust and yeah, so on and so on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's loopholes for the problem. Things. But back home, bro, for some of these people, bro, there's no food. There's no food. No, but no, but you know, yeah, no, I get that. But in Nigeria, for example, it's the same thing like, like in these countries, there are courts and whatever, but the problem is a lot of people can't afford. You miss, mm, sorry, mom. You miss, that. you know what I mean? King talking about he was selling pure water before he got here. Yeah, that's man. Right. Yeah, yeah. But what am I? Well, say anyway, my mom gave me the Mickey Mouse treatment, in it, saying that oh, we're gonna see Mickey Mouse. <laughs> so I go, I get the, I go on the plane. I said, "Well, it's not because she shut up." Drop me in the village with, with my grandma, in it. My grandma every morning she sells pure water. Why did she and, drop me with you? Um, well, how do you? Courage. I was at like seven. I was a bad kid. I was doing, I was doing crazy shit. I was on you my feel, window aye, putting feel... capes on, saying I'm Superman. My dad is walking past the whole neighborhood. Can say, I said, "Dad, I can fly." He's like, "Go on, there, job." It's a job. Kill yourself so you can put me out of this what? misery. I was like, your, your, your dad, dad was ready. Said, your dad said, your, what? Yeah, he said, bro, job. And his dad was, was like, come it. on. <laughs> <laughs> Make it maybe, happen, today. maybe today. Maybe today. Yeah, maybe today. Right, he so. thought he was going dizzy now. That's why I said Mickey Mouse. Yeah, gave me the Mickey Mouse treat, man. He thought he was dizzy now. this day, I'm still going to see Mickey Mouse. I swear that is on my heart, bro. Do you know how crazy it is? Did you think you're going Disney Disneyland? And there was any pure water on the side of the room? So every morning, I have pure water. And I have like uh, cocoa and porridge in it. So I help my grandma. So you know, you get um, a towel, you tie it around, pour on your head, you put the aluminium, you put the water, bonus, it's like ice water. And you be like, ice water. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, yeah, but... Oh, Lord. I don't think, I, I don't think it's that wild. I feel, yeah. like the, I feel like the most wild thing about that story is your dad told you to jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Your dad saw you on the balcony yeah. and didn't yeah. even say, get in. Yo, 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 your dad said, jump. But you know what? <laughs> for me, I was, yeah. Yeah, 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 I was terrorizing my dad. I was just too much. Like, that's too not much. for me. Marvin, yeah, really that's bad. Not even like, the really, really bad. Marvin, that's not even the wildest. I'm going to you up. I'm going to give you a young, like, Slap. Bro, I got everything. I got everything. I got I got the one you do your squats with me. Hold your legs. <laughs> and you put your hands up with, with the thing. All, right, Pop, all of that. Belt. Belt Marvin, of choice. Marvin, Don't matter, bro. Marvin, that is We're not here. the craziest part of that story. Like, you know what you talk about? His dad wanted to jump and you're like, it's crazy. That's not crazy for me because I hear it. You know, you've had enough, Marvin, and you're like, just do it. <laughs> no, but for a seven-year-old kid. Marvin? Yeah, I was just Marvin. Marvin. You know when you see a kid on the balcony, bro. you're like... And you, you might ring your wife and say, I was on the balcony. You might I, try to run up. I, 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 I saw the advert. If Is your parents abusing you? <laughs> <laughs> Call this <laughs> number. So I'm coming with chest now today. And I you said, got it. You will not beat me today. I said, Mom, you will not beat me today. She said, Why? I said, Because I watched this advert on TV. And they said, You can't. Be. Mom picked up the phone. She said, Call it. Call it. Please. Please call it. Call it. I was just there freezing. Mm -hmm. Ah. Tell me why she took off the phone wire and beat me with, with the wire, bro. She'd have called the number. What? what, what? Yeah. My, my, my parents gave several f given. Oh. When I went Ghana, it changed me, though. I came back. Dr. Umar Relax. Johnson said it best, yeah? <laughs> he said, some of y'all don't want to hear this. Some of y'all don't want to hear this. You know? So some of your kids too bad. Mm. <laughs> we might have to put him to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Matt said? Wait, wait, wait. Bobby says... <laughs> He's a psychologist now. I can't even psychologize. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, a man said, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. 
Sometimes you gotta put him to sleep forever. <laughs> he was like, and that's what King's dad was on, Marvin. Yeah, King yeah, Marvin. Yeah. Bro, and King's dad option. was like, Marvin, seven years old, we can start again. Do you know what this is? What my dad had. So one of my brothers is half Nigerian from his other marriage, zoop, zoop. and the other one was from Ghana. So like my oldest brother is sixty, innit? So my dad's been yeah, through. Well, yeah, my oh, oldest brother. Oh, you got a grandbrother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My <laughs> oldest brother. Six. My dad's got a grandbrother. Yeah. <laughs> so, so because of that, my dad's been, my dad's been through the mud, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> my dad's been through the mud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay. So, what? My dad had me at 50, innit? God, so And I'm 30, and I'm 34 now. So, my dad had enough. So, he's already had years of this bullshit. So, when I came, he was like, He was tired. Your dad's knees knees were clicking in the morning. (laughs) You know, bro, you know, you're lucky you can walk, bro. bro. You're lucky you're walking and you're functioning. You're lucky you're 50, bro. bro. You get them sperms that are like, uh, <laughs> my dad's a psychiatric yeah. nurse. Man said, you get them sperm uh, for that yeah. 40% function. And, and, and that's, 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 that's a psychiatric nurse. nurse. Can, you, can, you, can you run fast? You yeah. Fast? No, no, not anymore. Of course that's he's what, not. Yeah. <laughs> my, dad's a, my dad's a psychiatric nurse, isn't it? No, yeah. no, can you say that? Because like, we had kids that were old, he said the, the sperms weren't really yeah. like... Yeah. I was done, it was done out here. Yeah, it was done out here. 50 year old sperm. But guess what? I would come home to my dad, because he's a psychiatric nurse, having black eyes and shit when I was young, innit? Because a client could have hit him or anything. So he's already dealing with abuse at work. He's been doing this for years. And so when you he came coming to me down, now, I was tired of you, man. He's like, I'm done. You fell up with you. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Well, Marvin, remember, we've had these conversations where we used to talk about when you're at home, where your dad has come from being a strong man where he comes from, and he spent the whole day with either these old people talking shit to him, these young people talking shit to him, <laughs> and then you walk through the door, and the niggas like, oh, motherfucker, you about to get this work. <laughs> I remember, I came home one time from the library, yeah? Yeah. The way my dad slapped me, my mom's like, Jesus, this is my son. <laughs> <laughs> Bruv, I couldn't get shit for three days. <laughs> that nigga slapped the shit out of me. I couldn't what get shit for do? three days. That my mom, because I was being late, innit? I think it's the frustrations from work. This is just the frustration. Oh, just like, worrying. You. you just yeah. took out. Just you just worrying, then, bro. Yeah, right, bro. So I feel like there's a balance of a big understanding with your parents. And then there's certain times when you're like, nigga, what the fuck? You what you say for me for? <laughs> there was one time I had an argument with my dad, yeah? <laughs> And yeah, so we've had this argument where he's accused me of something. Mm. And at the end of it, I've won the argument. Yeah, like where I proved mm. that it's no whatever. And niggas like, it's my house, nigga. <laughs> I don't win. Bro, to the point where like Marvin, he was so vexed, yeah? He was like, it's my house, nigga. What I say goes. But I was like, nigga, but you're in the wrong. <laughs> Bro says, no, I'm not. Nigga, this is my yard. What I say goes. Bro, to the point where I was like, so what the fuck is the point of this conversation then? Yeah, but ain't that African like, parents for uh, you? Nigga, though? fuck your couch. Nah, but my <laughs> thing is, I genuinely feel like as a people, we've had this conversation. Mom yeah. will tell you, we've had it many times where like our parents deserve a certain level of grace, grace yeah. simply mm. because of the stuff they had to go through, yeah. coming from home, coming here, mm. doing whatever. But I also feel like there's certain times when you're like, you're taking the f- this. Mm. I mean, I'm not going to say nothing because I know you had a bad day mm. and you're the 22-year-old calling you by your first name mm. and you probably had a bad <laughs> f- day, but you're bugging right now. You know, and you're like, you're mm. bugging right now. You know what I mean? You're bugging. But like I said, I'm going to respect you because you need that validation as a man to allow you to go back to work and keep working so I don't starve. Bruh, <laughs> you know what I mean? That, <laughs> you know what I mean? Marvin, not Garnet. Because at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Because you, you know what I mean? I need you to go work tomorrow. <laughs> and I, you know what I mean? Because Marvin, you can't afford for your day to say, fuck this, I'm not going to work tomorrow. Mm. Like, hey, 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 so, what is that? I used to pick up kerosene, used to fan hey. it for the um, food for my grandma and all the older people. I'd carry buckets of water, just have a bath, like bucket bath. Yeah? Just one bucket bath. You have to salvage that but, shit. But that's what but like saying, it shaped to me, though. No, but you've proved my point mm. in terms of your environment is what makes you. Mm. So when you... Brother, when he was in the UK, he was moving bad. Yeah. <gasps> when he went to Africa, they had to carry water on his head. He humbled. Because <laughs> the thing is, I when, remember when, when I laugh sometimes, brother, when you go to certain places, yeah? Like, I went to Nigeria the other day mm. and I've gone back to, like, the village, innit? I, I speak about it on the podcast before. And basically, like, I've been there before, but my granddad's house is here. Mm. There's a road in between. My other granddad's house is there. Mm. Like, that's how, like, Life both, both my families. No, no, the families, mm. mom and dad, they, their families knew each other wow. from when they were, like, young, innit? So anyway, so, um, visited my granddad's house there, visited my other granddad's house, and then my uncle said, oh, let's see your granddad's brother or something like that. Mm. But I know whatever, like, I've walked in, I want to go straight back out, bro. 
Why? This yard was bonkers. As in, like, I mean, like, run down, bro. Man. Like, the TV looked like it was the same TV that man was watching in, like, the 40s. The Jesus Beagle back to Nah, but this TV, I don't, it's not even black and white. It's probably like a off color, man, okay. off white. Then the couch just looked like. Man, Virgil, Virgil, man, Virgil before Virgil. Ma- Marvin said <laughs> his black and white was different. You know no, what I mean? It was opaque. <laughs> set, set, the TV, the TV, Mike got the Virgil Abloh before the, the, everything else. <laughs> Imagine the TV was sepia. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then <laughs> I've got in the yard, whatever. And then, brother, the couch looked like a bed bug would say, no thanks. Jesus. Like it just but it was just mad. So when I got when I got in there, I looked, I was like, this is how man's living. Mm. So that's it kind of gave me like a new like humbled you. It, but immediately, bro. Mm. When I mean humbled me, I mean it wasn't even a case of I'm living good, I ain't got to worry about this. It was more of you're living like this. Like mm. that that's what I you know that like normally that like you can feel like this is a scenario happening and you're like, I'm not involved. Do you, right. do you know how much God like, humbled me? Jesus. If you give me a chocolate bar, I say thank you, bruv. I thank God. I'm grateful just for a f***ing chocolate bar. I know, I or just to be alive, bro. Like, but that's growing, how much God humbled me, bruv. But growing up, Imagine back... showering in like a tin thing and lizard is crawling while you're showering in like a little... Right, the, bruv, the, the, the lizard, the lizard, and the lizards that will... The, the, yeah, them, stand them, there, the hell is that? The lizards will stand there, you look at them and yeah. you do this thing where they... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so like, on go on, spot, look at it. Go on, like, keep having your shower, it's bro. It's mad, bro. <laughs> keep going on. I'm telling you, anyone, anyone, anyone who lives in Nigeria, or God, or whatever, you see the lizard, oh, the lizard will run, oh, and, and the lizard will look at you, like, because it's like, yeah. he's trying to, like, say, like, hopefully, yeah. like, hopefully no one's, hopefully these niggas haven't seen me, right? Mm. You can see it's just yeah. breathing, trying to. So, like, nigga, I see you. Keep showering. <laughs> I leave it to you, finish. Nah, so, for me, like, you know. <laughs> so let, me spit, let me spit in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> So I moved here when I was oh, shit. 14. So you know what I mean? I grew up back home and stuff like mm. that. But I will also say that I didn't grow up in poverty. Mm. So that's one of those things I have to say. And Sorry. No, no, no. I, you know why I have to say that? Because one time I told the story, you know what I mean? That... My mum wasn't happy about my sister told me, you know, she came to cook me. Because you, like, you ain't grow up like that. So, you know what I mean? I have to, you know, I have to clearly make that distinction mm-hmm. now. But, you know what I mean? I grew up around, you mm. know what I mean? Certain things when you mm. grow up and you see certain things and stuff like that. But, you know what I mean? Like, growing up, you know what I mean? I tell people, being back home, whether it's a year or two, whether it's 15 years or whatever, it definitely does shape you mm. in terms of, you know what I mean? Like, you, you grew up with a... Brent, the door just, oh my God, I thought someone was trying to come in, Brent. You didn't see him come in? No, I saw Brent come in, but the oh. door, I'm saying the door just opened now. So I thought somebody was trying to come in, which is why I was a little bit rattled because I'm like, Brent's here, so who's trying to open the door? So I'm saying, um, when you grow up in, you know what I mean, in that kind of situation or whatever, mm. it does shape you in a certain way. So mm. I always find like for me, when I hang around with certain types of people, I can always tell people that have spent an extended period of time at home versus people that have grown up yeah, I, yeah, you know what I mean. I don't even. Mm. It's just one of those things where if you were to ask me what are the things you look out for, couldn't tell you. Mm. But I can always tell mm. people that have grown up. You know, mm. that people that have had an extended period. I don't know what home. I would look like or, or what my life would be like if I went back home and spent time in. It just would have been an evangelist, bro. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, no, yes. I, no, 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 no. I'm telling you, because yes. it just depends on what life you would have had over there. Because mm. it definitely, you know, what I mean, like over here, you start to realize, you know, what I mean, privilege you have. Mm. In certain situations mm. You know what I mean Like when you're back home And you're like Hey yo Like when you look at Like it's even sometimes It's just down to see You know even like You don't even have to live In a certain way But when you see How other people were living yeah. Like this one documentary I watched from Zimbabwe It's a couple of years ago Right I was watching it This girl She's underage You know what I mean Mm-mm. She's pregnant I think she had a little kid mm. and Then she was pregnant With another kid on the way Or whatever Shit. And They were living Her and a kid mm. Were living in a in an overturned car. But, wow. You know, cars had an accident. They've just dragged it to the side of the road and that's the car her and her kid were living in. These kids were living in a phone box. These two little Shit. kids, bro, they're under the age of seven. Mm. Two of them, they were living in a phone box. But when you look at that situation, you know what I mean? You don't even have to experience that. Mm. But when you see that over here, you know, and you're like, a little <clears throat> young girl gets pregnant or whatever, as bad as life is, she could be living on 28 quid a week, but she's got a flat. Mm. That you could get. If you're a certain age, you fit a certain criteria, you could get a home on the government. You may be on 
you know, the food bank. You have to go to the food bank. You have to get this. You have to get this. But you know, back home in Nigeria, Marvin, you have a kid under a certain age and so on and so on. That's it. You have, There's a, kid nobody. In, you have a kid in general. That's it. There's nobody. You know what it is, <laughs> That's bro? A age. No, no, no. But this is it. But, if you're, it. but if you're young, whether there's no, there's no house from the government. Yeah. There's no aid. There's no food bank. There's mm. no nothing. Mm. That is it. Mm. You know what I mean? You could genuinely, you and your you could genuinely be living in a hole mm. in the ground. So. And that's scary. And you don't even need to experience that. You go home and live there for a year and you see enough of that, bro, which reshapes the rest of your life mm. because you appreciate life from a different thing. You know, Marvin, you go home right now for three months on holiday. You go home for a month and you see certain things and it makes you appreciate your life differently. Mm. You know what I mean? I've seen you, like, sometimes when you're with the kids and you're giving kids money and you think mm. to yourself, imagine if that was your life. Yeah. And that's, you know what I mean? It's that, you know what I mean? When you're mm. handing out money and you're looking after the kids and this and this, you're so, enjoying so, that someone, moment. Someone said that. Someone, I can't remember who said it. We got a round up now anyway. Mm -hmm. but, um, someone else said that, that they were like, when they're in Nigeria or certain places, they look at even like a family member mm. and it was like, I give money to my family members because that could have been me. Yeah. Mm. Like, I might have been that family member on that side. Yeah. So I'm saying, like, so sometimes it's like, bro, just be kind, like, bro. A tenner, Marvin. Think of a tenner. Gratitude, Think of a tenner. Man. Think of a tenner, Marvin. Like, ten squid to you here is like, it's money, you know what I mean? Because you could eat for the next mm -hmm. few days on a tenner. But when you give a tenner, yeah, yeah, yeah. someone Change else. Like, people, people be praying for you bro, differently over there, bro. A tenner. You give someone a tenner, bro. Like, I'll do you one better. What do you know about sharing one pencil between ten people to write the same answer? Brother, you know that, brother, you know the maddest thing is I went to my mom, there's like an all, not all this. There's schools and stuff that my mum gives money to, in it, Like, whatever. Bro, no word of a lie. We went there, we gave, like, students money, um, notepads and pencils, yeah? Mm -hmm. People fighting us for notepads and pencils. That's mad. Like, as in, I had grown men come up to me saying, are there any more pens? Mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. brother, in the UK... We don't um, care about a pen. No, we dash it, bro. We don't like, care. We don't care about even the notepad. Snap we don't care about. <laughs> but I've got a man come up to me saying, "Yo, I've got like five kids at home. Like, can I get some notepads yeah, for them?" So, so I'm having to give people like it's coming like, but the same way that people might want like a power bank here or like a pair of trainers or a hoodie mm -hmm. at, like a, an event. They wanted books. Like it's mad. Mm. Like. You're giving them pencils and pens. They're looking at you like, oh my God, like, thank you. Changed my life. So, yeah, but anyway, love for coming through, man. Oh, man. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And this is, no, it's been an insightful conversation. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, one yeah. of those, you it's know what I mean? It's not cheeks. Do you know no, what I mean? No, it's true. You know what I mean? Sometimes you have those, you know what I mean, conversations where it's mind-blowing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do me a favor. And by the way, Brent, Brent, we did the top ten. I knew, I knew this one was going to podcast. Tell Brent. We had to tell Brent, top ten countries with the highest murder rate. You know what I mean? Trinidad and Tobago is in the top 10. <laughs> I, 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 you know what I mean? And, I, I, and, and, you know what? and, and St. Kitts. And Jamaica. I swear Jamaica was up there. It's because of white people. Cartels. Oh. We say cartels as in like... Actual South cartels. cartels. Drug cartels. Oh, wow. they, oh, because they sell, I mean, drugs with boats and stuff. They, they know. So they have, even the... Oh, yeah. serious? Yeah. Mm. Remember, you, when you think of, if See, you think so, of, so, especially so, when you so think back, of the so Caribbean. Back, back to my point, though. Black yeah. people are not naturally violent. You get oh, me? The, it's the people God coming in. Man. It's the people coming in. Shake hips up. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? We're not naturally, black people are not naturally God violent, man. bro. So God what Marvin is saying is... Get immigrants out, mate. What Marvin is saying is the Mexicans. The Mexicans. I didn't say that. 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 <laughs> if you watch, you know, be the last Black Panther in the water mix. I love for that, man. Thank you. Because you know, you love, think love, of, love, if you think love, of the, love. you know what I mean, the proximity of the Caribbean oh, to South America. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Richard King show uh, every other week. Um, yeah, every fortnight. What day was he said? Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, Thursday no, it no, comes on. Already. No, but I no, no, no. Thursday, to, yeah, Thursday it Thursday. comes on Spotify, innit? And, then, and the videos oh. come on the Tuesday. Is it just oh, on Spotify? Is it available Spotify everywhere? Spotify and available, YouTube. Available, available everywhere. everywhere. All, oh, yeah, all yeah, platforms. Just, yeah, I've got a book coming out as well. Something for everyone. Coming out in the next couple of weeks. A poetry book. Plug done. Yeah, I was actually watching done, your stand-up thing. The, um, not stand-up poetry thing the other day. You know what I mean? Going in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Letting the random know. But like I said, shout out you, man, for coming through. We appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love.